I'm exhausted now. That was it. That was all the energy I have. Reminds me of my old drumming days. Alright, let's shut this up. Woo! Alright, there you go. That is my dancing done. Those are my dancing. You can see why I don't dance. Why I choose not to dance. Why even my wife questions the, the you know, the, uh, the validity of, uh, of asking me to dance. Uh, what have we got? Hello, everybody. God, I've just had... I mean, the weeks have been fine. I've been having some great time hanging out with Baz and not seeing my wife at all because my wife is working the entire time. But um, yeah, just really struggling to get anything sort of accomplished since I uh, since I rapped the other day. Um, someone was joking that I only have like one line in season two, which is so true. Ugly pig beast, thank you. Um, which is <laughs> which is so true. But uh, then. I do pick up quite a bit in season three, you'll see. So, and I think you'll enjoy it because God knows I do. Well, I hope you enjoy it because I freaking loved it. First time chat from viewer, the real flaming arrow. Hello, real flaming arrow. I love this first chat from viewer thing. That's a smart, a smart way for me to say hi to everybody uh, that shows up. First time chat from Loris Knight, who just says hi. And I say hi back. Hello. Um, then Ugly Pig Beast, of course, for doing that. I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I um, I just absolutely loved working on it. I mean, I'm, I just make no bones about it. I, I I absolutely loved the entire the entire process. Where am I looking? Where do I want this to be? This probably wants me to be. Let's see if I do. That's that's full volume. How's our how's my volume today? Um, I don't even know if we have any bandits today. I should go check, shouldn't I? I should go check on the bandits. No, don't switch your damn audio device. What do we got? Um, let's see. Let's pop on. Well, look at this modly crew. Oh. Whoa! You're like in sync. Are you guys a band? <laughs> Anthony, Noodle the Raccoon. How are you? Good. So I haven't been able to join like this for a while. I, I just feel like every time you're like tech bandits, I'm like, oh great, and then I just have like something else. I'm like, darn it. That's because you're you're just too in demand. That's the problem, noodles. <laughs> you just people just want you everywhere all the time. I you know I was just actually apologizing because I've just had the last couple of weeks. I've just been having a really hard time getting it together to start streaming. Like it's just there's always just been something going on. So, yeah. but I thought today. I need my bandits. I need some banditry. What about you, Anthony? How are you doing? Uh, doing great. What are you playing now? What's the what's the what's the game of the of choice right now? Space engineers. Oh, fantastic! I actually want to showcase something. But of course, noodles. Have you heard about this? This space engineers thing? Uh, no. It's kind really. kind of neat. All right, let me see if I can do this. If I can, if I do this, will I share? There now. All right. If you want to share it, go ahead. And I will, I think, bah, the question is, can I showcase it on here as well? That's the question. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, hang on. So let me see if I can find it. Would it be in Chrome? No, it would be in Discord goodness. Is that right? If I do this, does Discord goodness come up? Nope. Well, that's not much fun, isn't it? Discord, mm -hmm. where's, where's my Discord goodness? All right, let's try that. Oh, I see. I bet you it wants to know what I'm doing in Discord. Oh. Live voice chat. There you go. Done. Okay. All right, so there you go. I think I can now share you if you want. Oh, I've gone. Right. What do we? Let me... Oh, there was somebody gave me. Uh, I've forgotten the code again. There's that code. How do you t how do you change the mask? Remember, there's a. Was it Alt? Uh, yes, it was. What? It was Alt. Okay. <laughs> it's so not tech bandits, not tech problems, is it? No. Why would it be? You, haven't you missed us, Noodles? Ah, uh, so much. Oh. Uh, How's your PC running, by the way? Oh, great. I'm playing. Well, I'm, I was going to say, I'm using it right You're now. You're not I still playing. Well, no, that's, I figure everyone's, I figure everyone is basically is doing dual screening. So I'm assuming that's fine with everybody, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, dual screen. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, well, like, right. like the idea that I, I never assume that I've got people. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, someone's been building 
paying 100% pretension. Holy attention. moly. He just landed on his face in the game. Yeah. You just <laughs> fall out of the sky and land on your face. Secret. Oh, he's something. keeping a secret, I see. Ah, ooh, someone just donated something. Wait, wait, I missed something. Someone donated something. Oh. What did I miss? Someone donated a dollar. The Does real Flaming Arrow it? just subscribed. How do you how do you donate a dollar? How does that even I didn't even know you could do that. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's Moon Moonetics. Moonetics has tipped us a dollar from Germany. Thank you very much. I wonder what a dollar in Germany is worth. All right, I see shadows. I see parts of spaceships. I see a, a dizzying array of, of uh, space stuff going on here. So have you built okay. all this stuff? Yeah. Okay, you know, I can just start showcasing this. Yeah. This is a less liked ship that I've built. Cause, yeah. All right, so moly. this is just a small little... Well, I mean, not that small. It's not that small. It's just a little... Sh I don't like even saying little work. Okay, whatever. All right, so. Oh, thank you, Tweety Row. Thank you so much, Tweety Row. A vehicle that flies in the atmosphere because of this. Of these type atmosphere of class thrusters, got it. It, uh, um, it. it has armor plating around the big lifting thrusters. Yeah, no kidding. And are, are things liable to attack you in this game? I mean, will you, do you need that um, for. Well, can people shoot at you or anything? Yeah, uh, there are space pirates in this game. Aren't there always? All right, and space yeah, pirates. We love us some good old fashioned. It's space true. Pirates. It's true. Our and, uh, and they'll attack pretty merciless. Merciless. I don't know how to say that word. Merciless. Merciless. They're merciless pirates. Very good. Uh, As opposed to merciful pirates, they just keep giving you stuff, and that's yeah, it's not just not the same. <laughs> yeah. So there's some like storage. You got a bunch of uranium in there. <laughs> mm, uranium. Engine. Is that what is that what this ship runs on? Uranium? Is that? Um, it it has it's the ed power source. Mm -hmm. This reactor right here. And there's do you have to supply it with anything to keep it going? Um, yeah, I have to supply it with uranium. Oh, you do have to. Okay, all right, all right. So it is uranium yeah. that's running. Okay, all right. Um, these are engines, so they're comp generators or whatever. I if I move they me over a bit. Use, they use hydrogen. Mm hmm. I'm going to try to make you a little bigger because I, I'm having a hard time seeing on this little screen while still maintaining my chat view. Here we go. If I do that, there we go. Okay. Wow. All right. That's better. And if I quickly just grab a bunch of iron ore. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is Veterans Day today, isn't it? Oh. Do you, do you all have your poppies? Oh, it's, um, oh, right. Of course. I, I, I didn't go to school today, so I. Oh, was it a day off? Oh, no. I just got my flu shot the other day, and I was feeling oh. kind of happy, so. You know, I tried to go and get my booster shot for COVID today, and they said, um, you can't. I was like, no, no, no. It says on the website I'm supposed to go and have one. They're like, nope. you got to wait two days. Oh. <laughs> so i got to wait two are days you, before I get my scared? booster. Are you, any, are you good at the shots, or are you scared of them? Because I'm absolutely terrified of shots. I really? I No, I just, I, I love them because they open up the world for me. Like, it's like, if I don't have my shots, I can't do anything. So, I, it's like, to me, it's like, woohoo, jab me as many times as you need to. I mean, as long as they, as long as they know what they're doing. Ruby K, thank you. It's a very irrational fear um, because I know that it's fine and I know that it's good for me and I know that I'm going to be 100% okay, but I still get absolutely terrified. All right. Uh, I got a first time chat from Technohazard too. Hello, Technohazard. It's spelled with lots of different numbers. All right, sorry, go ahead. Carry on. Yeah. So over here are... Two big pieces of machinery. Okay. Over here is an assembler where you can craft a bunch of stuff like plates and for the survival aspect of this game. Hmm. I'm currently in creative, so I don't really need this. But right. it's a survival is that like a crafting? <laughs> that's like a, a crafting block or whatever in Minecraft? Uh, yeah. Similar? It, it, yeah. Okay. This is a refinery. You can put iron into this storage crate and then it'll be sucked into the refinery. Ah, so like which, the little smelting thing. Got it, okay. Yeah, which then... Uh, Does it tell you how to set these things up or do you do you have to like figure it out yourself? Um, I, I don't exactly... I think it's mostly figuring it out yourself. Ah, okay. 
Are you like Baz? Do you watch? Do you watch like tons of YouTube videos on this stuff? Oh yeah. Baz is at work right now, by the way. He's at the comic book store as we speak. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I know I saw him there one time during uh, summer. Yeah, he's been there for a while now. Sorry, carry on. Look, now there's iron ingots in there. Right. Okay. Then the iron ingots are used to build things like armor and all that kind of stuff. Or do you have? Yeah. Now I can go here and just like you know make a few steel plates. Nice. And boom. Got some steel plates. Sweet. In the storage. And where are you and where are you mining this stuff? Do you have to actually mine it, or or how do you come across it? Gaminator, how are you, Gaminator? So, Thank you very much for your subscription. When you spawn in, you are given a hand drill. Right. Click the hand drill. You just kind of start mining and then picking up these little rock. Oh, is that first. until you find something valuable? Um. Or the rock's valuable. If you have the drill out, let me quickly show this. Also, don't mind the water. That's a mod. Was there not normally water in there? Yeah, it was, it's a mod. I added some mods because it was, this is just a creative world. So I thought. Why not? Why not? Okay. Make it your own. Over here, as you can see, the ground is kind of like colored differently. Mm -hmm. If I turn on my HUD... As you can see, you can see some silicone down there. Mm -hmm. And magnesium for weapons. Now, if and the drill is broadcasting them. So if I'm not holding the drill, it won't show them. That I see. So that gives you the ability to see what's there as well. Yeah. And then you mine all the way down. I'm not going to do that because that takes forever to do. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. And then you mine. You mine, you bring the stuff back to your... Like smelting thing, or what did you call it? The uh, processor? Refinery. refinery. The refinery, and then you've also got the assembler so you can build everything you need basically in the, um, in the state. Wow, it is really windy outside. I just, I was thinking, like, what's going on out there? But of course, it's just that the trees are being blown over. Oh, I should have that window up. I was like, where's that window? Mm -hmm. So, this is the first floor. It's just also this back hatch, I guess, if you want to take the iron out straight from the ah. refinery and you right now this is only the first floor now there's the second floor up here can you fly this ship uh yeah nice so you build it and fly it that's very cool okay mm -hmm. right here is a medical station if i get injured i can heal myself right i'm gonna turn off my head because it's all right let me move this up too now whoa okay hang on a sec sorry I made my. Let me go try that. And we got every window open. Who's making the hissing sound? Is that is that you, Noodles? Uh, is it? We got like a hissing. Right. Yeah, it's him. Uh, I don't know why. My oh, Noodles. Those weird things. And then there is try... this little slot here. What does that which do? Is your own. That's kind of glitchy, but anyways. Hey, we just got a hype train. I didn't even notice there was a hype train going on. So, this is a player customization. I can wear full gold if I want to. So, that's just like a glorified closet. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, it's like your walk-in closet. Ooh, that's cool. What's that? Is that made of sausages? What is that? <laughs> Bananas? It's, what? A, it's, it's a ghillie suit. Oh. It looks like you're like wearing pickles now. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Rick Pickle suit. Eee, now you look like it's like all your guts are showing. Uh, what does the ghillie suit do? Um, it's complete aesthetics. Oh, it really is mean, purely aesthetics. That's that's just the way it looks. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, sorry, just is my mean, any better now? Yeah, it's not hissy anymore for some reason. Yeah, it's better. I th guess like if you're playing against players, it could mm. be useful because you could be less detectable sometimes, I guess, by normal players. So if you find like the right color, you could be hiding in the background type stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I should, speaking of hiding in the background, I should say thank you to a few people here. Uh, we've got Paperclips, yeah. who's resubscribed. The Untidy Tech, who's gifted a tier one to Gaminator. Ruby K, who's resubscribed. Odop has followed. Thank you, Odop. Or Udop. Udop1. Um, Tweety Rose throwing bits around like there's no tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tweety Row. Um, yeah, we just had like some like hype train thing. Okay, sorry. Back to it. Back to it. Whoa, I like that rainbow suit. That's great. 
Yes, the most stealthy. I was going to say, that's no I stealth there at all. Those. No stealth at all. That's like every dinosaur on the planet's like, I want to eat that. <laughs> and the rainbow suit's my favorite. Oh, yeah. So, fun fact. You can hear a T-Rex roaring in this game, in the audio files, but there's no creatures like that. That's the perfect game. way. That's the perfect way to hear a T-Rex, is to just hear them and not have them show up. Miss Liz, what are you doing? It's gifting subs oh as well. God. As if Miss Liz doesn't do enough without gifting subs. Doctor Who, Doctor McKay. Ah, oh, Doctor Who, I still love that. Um, Thank you so much to everyone that's gifting subs and everything right now. It's great. Hey, and I'm just going to throw this out there. I know that I think that uh, the fabulous Cal has probably already done this, but uh, ah, irreverent go go JP is continuing the gifts up they got. Oh, thank you very much. That's very good. Um, I was going to throw this out there. Uh, Gimpy G, who is our friend who has had a terrible house fire and lost all of his assistive tech. Have you not heard about this? No. Oh my God! Gimpy G was streaming, and his okay? basically yes, him and his family and the cats and the dogs are all fine, but he's literally lost everything. All of his new his new computer with the thirty ninety, the all of his assistive oh. tech, all of the stuff that was built into the house. So I've started a I have not started. I have started putting a putting links in here just to let people know about how they can help out because obviously it's not just him; it's him and his entire family. It's basically got to rebuild there rebuild their lives from nothing at this point. So I really want to help them out any way I can. In fact, I was really hoping to stream with him on his channel. So I was going to do the streaming from my end and then have him on almost like a guest on his own channel. But we've yeah. just been, we're like ships in the night. We keep missing each other for some reason. So I think he's just trying to avoid me. You know? um, but anyway, so, so, uh, so yes, if you've got people who go like, I really want to help someone out, that's where you send them. You go and send them to that. Uh, I mean, I wonder if they've got, what is the, does anyone know what the code is to pull up Gimpy G's um, info? There's like a little um, bot code for it of some sort. I'm guessing Cal knows what it is. Hello, Cal. Cal. Is Cal around? I, I said, I, I just oh. sent a little hello to Cal because I haven't spoken to Cal for ages. Um, I thought I would pop in and see how she's doing. Let's just see. Let me see. Have she responded recently? No, she hasn't. Oh, maybe she's asleep. She could be asleep. That's good. Be good no, if she she no, should she be asleep. Should. Very she true. Um, all right. Oh, now I'm showing everyone. I'm showing private list. I'm showing my private stuff. I shouldn't do that, should I? So stop showing. I should totally stop doing that. Yeah. yeah um, so stop. Yes, exactly. Uh, we go. Okay. We go. Dun, 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 dun. Where am I going to go back to this? No, I want to go back to this. Luckily, we never talked about anything that exciting. Um, all right, there you go. Back to that. Now I can bring that back up again. I'm get slowly noodles. I'm slowly getting this slowly, but unsurely. I'm getting used to this. this that's slowly like slowly is definitely one way to put it. I think, uh, and I think that uh, it's also the kiss of death. If I actually say that, things will all go horribly wrong. Now, boy, my table is. So, why is my table so shaky today? That's a bad sign. Uh, if you have a link, Tweety, I'll give you perms to share. I thought we had oh another hype train. Holy moly! Um, she doesn't. She does sleep occasionally. It's true. Um, oh my god, Tweety Rose throwing bits around again. Gimpy G. Was that it? Was that the one? Is it exclamation Gimpy G? Is that right? Exclamation Gimpy G. Did that work? Did that work? No, it didn't. I don't think it did. Hmm. How did we do it? Um, well, you know what? I can I can actually get the I can just get the I can just get the the link and I'll put it in myself. Since I'm so useless at this. Okay. Uh, hang on. What am I doing? I'm going to go fund me. Yeah, you should have a look. Um, noodles. It's pretty. It's pretty extraordinary what the guys had to had to go through. I mean, he lost all his cars and everything. I mean, not all his cars. Like specifically the van that he had that would let him move his wheelchair around so he's, he sort of can't do anything right now he's staying at a uh, comfort comfort in but he says it's not that comfortable All right, i'm searching for i think he calls himself the Qu quad squad there you go lance cars quad squad there you go let me get this in here um well, i'm glad that he's okay yes well that is that is definitely something to be happy about but um but yeah it's uh 
it's still an awful lot for him to deal with right now. So there we go. Let's I'm going to do this. Oh, someone's already got the Gimpy G in there. What am I doing? Oh my God, I can't remember what I'm doing. Here we go. There you go. There it is again. There's the GoFundMe. Uh, Nightbot. If you don't monthly, no, no, that's not the one. Nightbot. I guess Nightbot will randomly throw it in there. I'd love to know. How do you check to see what the commands are for your Nightbot? Is there a way to do that? There must be a way to do that. All right. How goes the... Oops, stream's paused. Um, how Anthony, how's it going over there? What is there anything else you want to show us? What have we got? To, um, you've got more yeah. of this spaceship. I'm getting. It's a pretty big spaceship. Yeah, there's a lot actually I want to show in this one world. Have so, you done a? Do you do streaming? Do you do streaming or YouTube videos or anything? Um, I mean, I do YouTube. You do YouTube. Yeah. So you do walkthroughs and let everyone know what's going on with this stuff as well. No, not really. It's my channel's kind of dead right now. My last episode, which I posted like a week ago, not like a couple months ago. I a couple months ago, yeah, yeah. Um. It's my newest video after being after my channel was kind of dead after in, after two years. So I finally post a new video. Oh, you like me? I do that too. Things I go for like long periods of time and forgetting to do things and then or just just not getting around to it. The weird thing about YouTube and, and all these things is that I think you're supposed to be very regular with them. I feel like you're supposed to be doing it like people. Some people like stream every single day, which I, I don't know how they do that, frankly, you know. Um, it's called magic. Or what was that? It's called magic. Magic. It's magic. A good friend of... There you go. That's it. That's the one. But I don't know how to... Uh, no. Nightbot. Is there a way? If I click on Nightbot, will it let me... No. Well, let me do that. Damn it. Can someone tell me how to look up what the commands are on uh, on our Nightbot? I would love to... I'd love to know that. Oh, it's magic. Oxygen. I like that. Oxygen's always kind of useful when you're doing space exploration. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to proceed with the showcase stuff. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. That's fine. So over here is H2O generators. They generate oxygen, also hydrogen by ice and water and whatnot. Nice. All the oxygen goes here. There's a bunch of hydrogen... Uh, containers here. Now, over here are cryo tubes. Were you planning on traveling with a party? What's going on there? Y yeah, I mean, yeah. So it's like, so you can have other players come in and sit in their cryo, cryo tube and fly away with you? Yeah. Well, that's kind of yeah. cool. I mean, it doesn't are they very short? sleep or anything. It doesn't? But, yeah. It doesn't like... What it be, what the use of a cryopod is so that players can log off without their character dying of like energy loss or their player despawns. I see. Okay, but when they log off, what would normally happen? They would just despawn, or they, their player actually stays where they logged off. Ah, so I see. It's if like a you home. Were a rival, if you were a rival, you could just like shoot your person, shoot your friend, shoot the guy dead. Even though they're offline, mm, now, I see. Now, doesn't stop that, but um, but they've got to get in there. Them, but it stops people from despawning, basically. What do you think of real cryo? What do you think of real cryo? Uh, it's really cool. And... But do you think it works? Do you think it um, will work? I don't really know <laughs> about that. I feel like I mean, it feels like. I, 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 I don't know. I've taken steaks out of the freezer after a while, and they look pretty bad. I can't imagine freezing yourself how, how you know, even with mo with crazy modern technologies, you know, from the future somewhere. I just, I wonder if they could, you know, you'd still be mostly popsicle at that point, wouldn't you? I imagine there'd be so much damage to the nerves, uh, to the um, to the cells from being well, frozen for so long. What do you think, Noodles? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. Because they free, don't they freeze you very quickly, like with liquid nitrogen or something? Isn't that the isn't that the uh, idea? Well, maybe I wonder if they would have to freeze you slowly. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up you right now. You maybe have to do some give give a person some kind of chemical to like I don't know, uh, like resist that kind of freezing nerve damage or whatever, like your cells or whatever from being damaged when you're frozen. There you go. This is what it says here. 
Uh, first, you have to join a cryogenics facility and pay an annual membership fee. Yeah, what if they go out of business? Then what do they do with you when you're dead? Then when your heart stops beating and you are pronounced legally dead, an emergency response team from the facility springs into action. The team stabilizes your body. Um, hopefully, hopefully your body's not moving that much if you're dead, but uh, supplying your brain with enough oxygen and blood to preserve minimal function until you can be... Tra- Boy, I said, I thought you were dead. You're legally dead, but they try to stabilize your body and supply enough brain to the... The brain with enough... <laughs> supply enough brain. Yeah, that's my problem. I need to supply more brain. Um, supplying your brain with enough oxygen and blood to preserve minimal function until you can be transported to the suspension facility where your body's packed and iced, injected with heparin... That is an anticoagulant. You know what an anticoagulant is? Something that is anticoagulating? That stops your blood from clotting, I think oh, is the idea. That so oh, I, mean, I guess that makes sure that, like, the, like, stop with like, bed sores or something like that. Oh, really? You I mean, I think. You're laying down for so long. I think the idea here is that if you're if you die and your blood starts coagulating, it's going to go all hard and it's going to kill off all sorts of parts of your body. I would, th- well, although you're what? already dead, though, right? Ugh, that, is, ugh, that just feel, sounds awful. So once you're at the cryonics facility, the actual freezing begins. Cryonics facilities can't simply put their patients into a vat of liquid nitrogen. Damn, that's what I was going to do, because the water in ah, see, this is what I was saying. Because the water inside their cells would freeze, and when water freezes, it expands, and this would cause the cells to simply shatter. So it's sort of a, you'd have exploding cells. The cryonics team must first remove the how do they remove the water from your cells? and replace it with a glycerol-based chemical mixture called a cryoprotectant, a sort of human antifreeze. The goal is to protect the organs and tissues from forming ice crystals at extremely low temperatures. This process is called vitrification, deep cooling without freezing. Puts the cells into a state of suspended animation. Once your body is cooled on a bed of dry ice until it reaches a negative 30, negative 130 Celsius, negative 202 Fahrenheit or minus 202, I guess. Completing the, wow. The next step is to insert your body into an individual container that is then placed into a large metal tank filled with liquid nitrogen at a temperature of around a minus 196 degrees Celsius. Your body is stored head down, so if there were a leak in the tank, your brain would stay immersed in the freezing liquid. What? Oh. It's not cheap. It can cost $150,000 to have your whole body preserved. Wow. Or you just get your brain done for 50 grand. Wow. That is crazy. But how can they, how can they be sure that they're going to be around in like 150, 200 years when, they want, when you want to get, you know, I mean, revived? They just kind of entrust it with the people in the future. They're just kind of like, hey, try and remember to free these guys. <laughs> don't forget. Basically. Please but, don't forget. They paid a lot of money. Yeah, but you're a company that's taking money to look after them. And surely you can't be expected to. That means like if I started a cryogenics company, I would be responsible for those bodies long after I'm dead, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah. How, what would the legality of I mean, I just feel like there's so many things that are interesting. Well, you'd probably pass... <laughs> on the like if that makes sense you'd pass on like i guess yeah, yeah you'd have people different people would buy it like you, you like people pass on the rights to a normal company it's not like this is any different it's just yeah i would think freezer burn would be a big issue well you know uh then maybe they're also assuming that they'll have like really advanced plastic surgery by that point you know that's maybe? they'll be able to fix those cells i mean i guess the idea is if you can preserve the brain i suppose you can keep the you could then put it in something else i would get my brain put into a giant robot that's what i would do um okay so if the company cannot afford to keep you going they'll either sell you as an asset or try and revive them if that doesn't work oops oh well yikes revive them oh like take them out i guess yeah hey hey wake up wake up we're out of business yeah i don't think that's gonna work either so um HR1S7I says it sounds like, oh, first time chat. Hello, first time chat. Uh, it says sounds like nonsense to me. Also, the brain starts dying remarkably quickly, so there's no reversing that, especially with all the surrounding systems to support it. Well, don't function or are missing completely. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think it's as simple as just ro- lopping off your head and freezing it. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, it does feel a bit scammy to me, but all new all new technology feels scammy at first. Like, look at look at Bitcoin and, and crypto and all that kind of stuff, uh-huh. right? I have a friend who does not like cryptocurrency at all does not like it at all 
No. Did they lose a lot of money? No, no, no. She thinks it's stupid. And yeah, I mean, I think it. Is, sorry. It's, 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 yeah, sorry. What do you she think of it? Understand it. Um, and uh, so our, our my math teacher put a question on it, and it was hmm. basically like math teacher. So the math, I'll call her math teacher. I don't know. Oh, your math teacher doesn't like it. No, 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 no. my friend doesn't. But uh, I we had a math test, and our, yeah. my math teacher, I'll just call him like Mr. M or something. Mr. Math. Yeah, Mr. Math. Got it. My, my teacher used like a uh, friend's name. I'll call her Bernice. Sure. I don't know. I now I'm so confused. Is it Bernice? Is it. Hey, we're flying. So basically, uh, my math teacher wrote a story about like my friend had heard too many times about Bitcoin. Mm. So she took a ladder and crawled out the window and then he's like calculate how high the window was it was a try it was a question on triangles ah i see so you had to work um, out what is that what is the code for triangles again what is that what is the um, in order to get the sides of a triangle uh well the, so yeah it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared right hey, is that right a squared plus b squared is that right i never, I never know this. The hypotenuse socato what's socato the anti-socato um, yeah, the, the Bitcoin thing is interesting because I, I, I feel like I, I'm not sure about it either, but I, I do like the idea that there's banking without banks, you know, I just feel like banks, they, they're always, you know, I feel like I'm always getting ripped off by the banks. So I kind of like the idea of a system that isn't relying on them to look after the money for you. Um, and there's people who've made huge amounts of money and also people who've lost a huge amounts of money with this stuff as well. Right. Um, but uh, XJBoy76XX has followed. Boy, that is a mouthful. Um, yeah, the Pythagorean theory. So I was wallowing in... Uh, hey, Kippy G! Kippy G! Hello. You know, Noodles, I just heard, I just Noodles didn't know. I didn't, even, I didn't even know. I'm so sorry about that. That really sucked. You're obviously not famous okay. enough yet, Kippy Thank G. You. You're not, not famous, famous enough. No. I'm working it. Yeah, you got to get it. <laughs> You gotta get you gotta get into the Canadian news somehow. That's that'll be the key. How yeah, you like, how you doing today? You doing you doing all right? I'm. Let's just say yeah. But Look. I heard somebody yell "math man" or something like that. Math man. So I came. Oh, you heard you heard math man. Like it. <laughs> yeah, the bat the bat signal went up. That's it. I heard the word math. Um, That's right. Well, no, because Noodles was saying that that she's got a friend who just hates crypto. And there was some question about it on on a math test or something, and she yeah. hates crypto. What do they... I can think of a reason? Okay, well, hate is a very strong word. Uh, she just dislikes it a lot. Well, do do we think it's a currency? I don't know of a currency that can like swing so much. You don't want to be able to you well, know, go buy a cheeseburger. It feels right? like a mixture it, of the stock market. It, and well, gambling. there, there are definitely some it countries. <laughs> there, are you being attacked by your small rodent-like dog, Gippy G? Uh, no, uh, okay. others aren't. So oh, oh, good. As long as someone else. Um, uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, it's, yeah, I. there are definitely small countries that have had crazy inflation or deflation and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I've definitely seen, you know, you've, I've, you know, I've definitely heard of some pretty crazy, like you've got to spend a, a million, a million whatever to go and buy a can of Coke or something. I mean, but. Right. These are oddities and they come and get, you know, they can get bailed out and things like that, but. The vast majority of cryptocurrency belongs to a very few people. Right. And, um, and it can move up and down. and Mainly the tech yeah. people who, who developed them in the first place, which I find funny. Correct. Um, yeah, I, like, I'm definitely interested in it just because I love it as a technical. Like I say, like, I love the idea of there not being banks. That seems, right. that seems marvelous to me. Well, and for you, I mean, to some extent, I mean, uh, you know... Uh, you know, the idea that, that it is that, let's say, the computer you have it on does burn down. You just have to go to another computer and log in. It. Yeah, you go to another computer and log in, and you've still got it. Right. Oh, my gosh. The cloud. Everybody rejoice the cloud. All hail the cloud. I guess, I yeah, you must cloud. have. Do you, did you have all your files on, in, on Dropbox or something? Yeah. So, no. like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I was like, oh. oh. And email, I guess, as well. Yeah. Are you yeah, oh, yeah. are you a Gmail guy? Are you is that are you a, a Gmail user or what's your 
I've, I, okay, I've got like an, a one that I just use for people that I like, and then I got a Gmail on my like my YouTube. Oh, is is that why I got the? That's why I got the losers at Gmail dot com is my one to connect with you. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> the Gimpy G Gaming at yeah. Gmail. Yeah, is, that's the for everyone. That's your internet yeah. sided, your internet facing. That's right. Yeah, like that. Mine is David I Hewlett at Gmail, and it's like one of those ones that every so often I wade through it, and there's like I I realize how horrible I am at at, at communicating with people, but I figure <laughs> like I feel like I'm on here. We're communicating with people now, right? Yeah. Um, all right. So crypto. Go back to crypto for a second. So crypto. Um, do you own any crypto? Uh, I did. We bought that uh, Doge. Well, you, and then we sold. You bought it for Doge at seventeen or something. Right. Right. Doge was a joke one. There's a well, no. What do they call them? Right. They, they call them meme currencies, and they're yeah. saying that maybe. This just might be the new thing. It may be that we just come up with a meme currency. So the idea noodles is that there was like a dog meme and they went, hey, that's a we think the dog is called a doge. And then they said, oh, let's make a doge coin as a joke. And then someone makes a doge coin and all of a sudden it's actually worth some money and people are like making tons of money on it, including Elon Musk, who just sold a billion dollars, a billion dollars in Tesla stocks. Yeah. I think that's because he's going to make a big donation to a little someone we all know. I think that's it. I think he's uh, gearing up to get into I that GoFundMe like thing. It. It's true. That Was it $5 billion? It may be $5 billion Canadian. Um, but uh, yeah. I thought it was a billion. I guess it's, it, it's in fact five. I uh, saw $1.1 billion And I wrote to him and I said, hey, fella, that's nice. I can do with half. I could, yes. I would only need half of that. But if you yeah. think about it, you could live on the... You wouldn't even, what am I saying, live on? You could, you could literally look after yourself for the rest of your life just on the interest, on, on like a small portion of that. Of that, yeah. Do you really need that much money? I don't think so, Elon. I would, well, he doesn't, but I would be making games and stuff. And it's true. Um, but I would, would, would you be- a robot body. Robot body, that'd be perfect. We could have robot bodies together and we'll run around. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Like in fields of of daffodils and stuff. Um, oh, dude, no, we could have fights. Oh. And like replace. Oh, so that would be cool. Like, in this corner, weighing 13,000 pounds. Yeah. David Hewlett. There was a fantastic, was it a Love and, Love and Robots episode? Where there were these creatures yeah. that were controlled. They were like these canister giant canister creatures that were like that were that were that would fight each other and they were controlled by human human subjects and then there's a neat little twist at the end but um uh the original mcu iron man suit was calculated at six billion that's what it cost to make maybe that's why he's pulled out all that money because he wants to finally make himself an iron man suit yeah um about time all right so noodles noodles you going to invest in some in some uh, in some uh, crypto? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. No. I don't uh, know. I've been zoning out, but yeah, uh, that's a good question. Probably not. Well, because I think we're getting we're getting the Tech Bandits coins at some point. I just emailed them and said, "Hey, what's up with our tech bandits coins? Like, I haven't had to pay anything yet, so I just feel bad that there's someone's holding the bag, literally holding a bag of coins somewhere. Um, but apparently, the shipping is taking forever. But um, but when we get those, I thought I would tie them to a to an NFT, so they would be they would be one of a kind and thus be sellable or tradable or whatever. You know, who knows? That could be your college fund right there if it does well. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be neat. And then Gimpy." Could like fund his new his new assistive palace with just like with crypto coins <laughs> with with tech bandit crypto. Oh, we need a good name for them though. Noodles, come on, you're good with names. Uh, sorry. I need a name need... for if we have a crypto coin. What would you call it? Uh, uh, uh. Feel free to work on it. Yeah, it's okay. Don't let me distract you from whatever. Are you not playing? What are you playing? Actually, no, Ancient I'm not. Impact. Are you playing Genshin Impact again? Oh, I am, like, but not right now. What are you playing now? Uh, I'm just... My friends texting me. Oh my god, friends. Oh. Friends are so irritating. Why would they text you? Don't they know you're busy? Um, yeah, I know. I agree. You know, 
Uh, one of the things that I wanted to I wanted to talk about today because I've been doing a bunch of like research on it is this because we were talking. What was that? Biohacking. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I spoke to this amazing woman, um, Daria or Dari Daria. Is that how I, I don't? I never. I don't know how to. Say. She's she's D-I-A-R-E? from. I don't know. It's for, she's from Ukraine, so I I I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Yeah. But she's fabulous. She does this, this, this thing called the Yane Lab, which is which which is a it's oh. a biohacking lab, like a community biohacking lab, which just is just amazing. Um, in Ukraine, she's done a bunch of crazy things, including make her own um, uh, COVID nineteen uh, vaccine, and then inoculate herself with it. Um, but she's she's like twenty one years old, biohacker, has a degree in I guess I don't know. Um, some kind of uh, some kind of biology of some sort, microbiology of some sort. Um, but she is uh, just an amazing, amazing person. So I, I did a, a chat with her, and she was. I was saying, look, what do I do? What do I do with the tech bandits that would be cool that could get them into this into the biology side of stuff? Because Baz was complaining he wasn't a big fan of biology, and I was like, oh my god, biology! You can do everything with biology. Like basically, yeah. biology is just little machines. They're like little three D printers that will make what you want them to make. Um, so how on earth can tech, can, can biology be boring? So, um, I started looking into some stuff and there's, you know, that they're, they're 3d printing like hearts and livers and pancreases and ears. Like they're literally using, they call it bio printing where they're printing with biological materials that then grows from there type thing. Um, it's just, it's just amazing. But one of the things that I thought would be kind of fun to play with is there's these, um, these kits noodles. You'll be into this, I'm sure. Um, which is you can genetically engineer, um, bacteria to glow in the dark. So you take regular, this, you take this, I think it's an E. coli of some sort bacteria. Um, uh, but the non-dangerous one, the the one that's not going to kill you. Uh, in fact, I hope it doesn't kill you because if, if, if it does, then it probably shouldn't be sitting in the fridge with our food. Um, and then probably not. Yeah. Not a, not a good idea generally. Um, uh, but you take this and then you, you get the, you, you basically you're tricking the bacteria into producing this, uh, phosphorescent or phos or fluorescent of some sort. Anyways, bioluminescence. bioluminescence of some sort, right? So you're tricking the bacteria into doing that by 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 literally changing its DNA, and by changing its DNA, you're basically telling it, "I want you to make these things instead of making what what you normally would make." On top of everything you normally make, make some of this bioluminescent stuff as well. Sorry, I just kind of um, had to go for a second. I missed a bit. Can you just recap? Sure. Uh, Gimpy G was telling me how great I am. Yeah, I was. Okay. I totally uh, believe you. Uh, no, we were talking about the idea of like, of of taking bacteria and doing like um, modifying its its DNA so that it then glows in the dark. So you take jellyfish Ooh. DNA and you put the jellyfish DNA, these glow in the dark jellyfish. And you put that DNA into the bacteria, and all of a sudden you have a bacteria that starts growing and multiplying and glowing. Ooh. And and I apparently like different colors. I I'm assuming so. I don't know. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, I, um, but we can do that apparently. Like we could do that in the basement. Like we could just do that. Anyone? You could do that in the kitchen. Can we do it at your basement? Yeah. Yeah, we absolutely Why could. We, do you have fire extinguishers and? Like the stuff in the ceiling that will shoot water. I don't. Mm. I'm. You've got me so that. paranoid about this. I started looking up it's new funny. fire detectors or uh, you know fire smoke CO two all the all the the gas detector okay. things, but none of them are very smart. None of the highly rated ones are very smart. You had fire alarms, right? Oh yes, we had wireless ones and. And you heard them going off after the fire had burned down most of the house. Yes, you can hear them on noodles. I don't know if you knew this, but you could go to Gimpy G Gaming and look. I have like 10 minutes Mm -hmm. of the stream that streamed after I had been rescued. He was streaming with James Gurney and got wheeled out 
during the stream. Right. The stream didn't, he didn't turn the stream off. The stream just continues as his room fills with smoke and then it dies when the, I'm assuming the power of the house goes. It has to have even been worse because I had one hour uninterrupted power supplies to him. So I think the, it, something got even to those. Has, because they only went for like 10 minutes. Is your room at all intact? Like your it's, streaming room? They they say it's a total loss, but like mostly from smoke and stuff. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what that means. Smoke, uh, yeah. They, well, a lot of the time with fires, I think it's not always... Um, it's a smoke. It's it's um the smoke, it's the fire, but a lot mm. of damage in fires is caused by... Oh. Um, water damage oh yeah all those baby yodas <laughs> there's a lot of soggy baby yodas right now so many da- um baby yodas <laughs> you're actually you're absolutely right noodles because in order to make sure that the fire is out they basically just waterlog everything have you yes, yeah have it's you looked at your computer gimpy g have you had a look at your computer it won't let us do it that's what's really frustrating is the house was built in 59 Here's something the children probably didn't know, mm-hmm. but back in the fifties, they had a new wonder installation called asbestos, oh, yeah. which, asbestos. Is way, which is way better than regular insulation because it, it doesn't catch fire. it doesn't burn yeah. it doesn't burn unless you get it in your lungs. Right, right. So your house so, was so. laden with with insulated well, insulating. Asbestos. Nobody, no, no, it definitely wasn't that. There's question about flooring. Mm. Well, it's but fine as long as you're not, as long as you're not kicking up the dust, you're fine, right? right. I mean, it's a lot of these buildings. Right. They just say leave it as long as you don't move it, you're fine. But they're not letting anybody. Thank you, Untidy anything. Tech. Have a good Including, night. Including, oh, bye, Untidy. Bye. They, uh, they, they said the house is going to have to be, well. The ceiling gone and the roof gone and the flooring gone. That leaves walls without ceiling and floor, and I'm pretty sure they don't stand very well. In, yeah, yeah, that, that works in Minecraft. Very right? well in yeah. Minecraft. I just picture your home like a Minecraft, just like sitting there. Well, but yeah, floating. Because so so it's possible you might be able to sort of like maybe not you, but eventually would you be able to pick through and like is it possible you? I I just keep thinking, do you have a thirty ninety still sitting there? Wouldn't that be wonderful? That'd be neat. I mean... I hate to get my hopes up because, you know... I mean, it'd be better to get a new 3090 because by the time you actually get it, there'll be some other new new thing out, right? You right. Could, you'll but never be I, behind. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But my hope is, believe it or not, one of, I really want our PS5 to survive. I don't know if it's going to. Probably not. There was PS. quite a lot of water dripping off of it. It's hard to get a PS5 now too, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, you can't get one. Um, it, it's same thing with the 3090. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Forget it. I mean, yeah. I guess our pictures are okay. Like old school ones. Like albums. Oh, are that's they? good. They are? Yeah. Oh, man. Because that's something you think... Well, I mean, that's... I, I think digitizing like crazy, you know. Do that. But then also put a fire resistant... Uh, what you call it? Box like a uh, like a safe. Yeah, a safe. That's what it mm-hmm. was. Sister, sister, just put one of those in. Like, I don't know, a year ago. Oh, she just put one in. Like a year ago, yeah. Wow. Oh. And how's it going with the insurance, by the way? Homes. Have you got that, uh, or you're probably not allowed to talk about it? I guess, but. Well, no, I am. They, I'm sorry, kids. This is very boring. Well, no, Nobody it's well, it's not that boring, boring because the reality is it's the difference between it's the difference between Gimpy getting a. You know, a house and a car and all that stuff back again, and right. Gimpy not getting any of that stuff back because the insurance companies decided they feel that somehow it's Gimpy's fault. I mean, we all know it's all Gimpy's it's fault. Actually, but yeah. yeah, right. She swears, and of course, her swearing right now doesn't really amount to much because your mother swears. Well, like that she got. Uh, oh yeah, she would. Mm. Uh, that she got the full coverage because we discussed it. Mm. And, but she, she also thinks it's like 1921. So there you go, right? Right, right. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, and I think when she went in, 
I, I just have no coverage. I can't believe those vehicles caught on fire. I still can't believe they just went whoosh. I'm amazed they're not covered as part of the house, too, because if the house goes up, would that not be part of the damage done by the house fire? Yeah. That's that's what I would think, but and that might have been something she was sold because she got the whole package, the house, everything, right? Cars are all under one. And mm. I don't know if that's what she was sold or what, but we actually got had to find somebody to pull the van up because the insurance wasn't going to cover her. Somebody pulling the oh my god van. Oh it my god! Yeah, and when they pulled it, it just came apart. The engine fell out. The engine fell out. Oh my god! Oh my I god! Really? Dead. Wow! It's so dead. Hey, and what does it cost to replace a van like that? Because it's got a, it's got a lift for you. It's got um, fuzzy dice. What I mean, it's got it, it's specific things for you. Well, let's. That one was, let's see, 13 years old and mm. was $20,000. Now, that, that was... That was 20000 13 years ago? No, no, no. It was 20000 in 2019. Okay. So it, it, was, had, it was already over a decade old. Wow. It was pretty meh, but we're, you know, we're common folk. Mm-hmm. So, and they... <laughs> salt to the earth. You're salt that. to the earth, Gippy G. He's his salt to the That's earth. <laughs> so, uh, so, oh, then, you know, we, oh, man, who builds vans and stuff? Would it be fun to, like, just, like, kit out a new van with, like, all the coolest new stuff? I think so. I, I got, I'm going to send you a thing I'm going to do. I got somebody in like Washington State. Van. What was that? Like a oh, Ghostbusters van. <gasps> the Gimpy Busters. No, what would it be? The Quad Busters? What, um, Backbreaker. Something like that. The backbreaker. The soup. That'd be cool if we just like, as we go by people, something just shoots out and like snap, like oh and yeah, and my immediately turns them into quadriplegics. You're saying yes, right? Join, join me, join me in quadriplegia. Yes, all right. I got that once. Believe it or not, I got that once in a letter to the editor when I was teaching. They said we don't want people like that influencing our kids, and it was like. People like what? Your plegics? What does that mean? But they don't what want people. Mean? Mean? We don't want our kids. Don't. Really? I disabled. So I was like, do you think I'm secretly trying to make a disabled army? Like going into the kids. Hey, kids, guess what? You ever played around moving buses? You, you don't need to. You don't need to move kids. I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know how I- kind of threatening, honestly. Ruby, Ruby K says that Gimpy is actually a supervillain, which we've all known all along anyways. <laughs> Frankly, Honestly, yeah. you'd, make a, you'd make a pretty cool supervillain. So I'm not complaining. I would. I think so. Do you know what's I'm weird very though? I'm assuming Hollywood always makes their villains uh, have some kind of a disability. You notice that? They do a lot. What is sure. the deal with that? Would you say why on earth would is that just a, is that like a holdover to old times when you know I guess you were you were if you had a disability it meant that God hated you or something? Maybe it make, gives you a depth because. Ooh. People can look at you and go, I get why he's pissed off. Yeah, I see why he wants to be yeah, evil. It makes it makes sense why he's killing babies. Oh, oh God. God. How do we get on killing gay baby? How do we go to killing babies, Gimpy G? You really are a villain. That escalated very quickly. Man, that escalated. It's true that escalated. That escalated very fast. Um, uh, so, okay. So, so potentially there may be enough in the GoFundMe eventually to get a van. But it's going to be... You're saying it's going to be like a 1970s wagon rather than a, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a, like a brand, what does a brand new kitted out one cost? Like, no, let's look, let's Google. Let's do it. Doing it. We're Googling now. We're looking, we're looking now. What are we Googling? I'm not going to type, I'm not going to type gimpy van. That's not, what would would you call it? You say wheelchair accessible van. I like it. I like it. Wheelchair accessible van. Okay. Let's just say new. Let's say new. For sale. Ooh, Silver Cross Auto. That sounds that sounds neat. Well, that's no use. We need to look at somewhere near you. What's what? Give me a place that's near no, you. No, it doesn't matter. They really? can get it to us. That's fine. <laughs> they can get it. It's on wheels. They can drive it. Also, we shouldn't go. What's a place near you? Where where where? Oh, I'm about... fine. Everybody knows. They went on the news. Everyone. He's oh, already. He's been on the news. They've shown his house. He's been totally doxxed by local news. Doxed. It's okay. See, doxed. Do you notice? Do you notice that cool term that I was using there, Gimpy G? 
Is he a cool yeah. Um, okay. So, sorry. Um, uh, what are we doing? I've got this. I've got this. I've got. Uh, hey, Jefferson's here. Anthony. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bail on you for a second. Or am I? Can I move you up? Maybe I can just move you up and out of the way. Yeah, because I haven't really finished my showcase. Ah! Oh my God! A child just snuck up. How are you? But what's that? Um, <gasps> oh, my son works at a comic book store and he brings me comics. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for bringing your old man a comic book. Mm -hmm. so you are the best. best. Thank you so much. I got Gimpy G. I got Raccoon Noodles. I've got even Jefferson. I've got uh, Anthony. Anthony's showing us some, uh, what is it called again? Space Engineers? Yeah, uh, I, and I still have a, a one more thing to show you. Oh, do you want to show us now before we go and look at uh, accessible vans? Yes. Okay. Gimpy G, do you mind if we wait on this? We're gonna, well, you know what? You do what you need to, buddy. I'm, no. I'm just leading this up straight. Anthony's in charge. I'm just going to go, and then I'm going to pull up, I'm going to figure out how to pull up a window with the accessible vans in it. Okay. Yeah. I was just showing this because I was waiting for, like, I don't know, more people or something. Right. That doesn't happen. Not around here. That, more right. people, more people doesn't happen. So, this I have built with a with like not very much inspiration just a little bit just a little bit of inspiration yeah oh the dogs and... farted oh god why would you oh god just oh everybody uh, save yourselves oh she's farted and it's a small room god it's awful do i have a mat thanks baz appreciate it oh son of a god it's horrible one right, time you wish the house was burning. I'm putting the mask on. <laughs> I'm putting a mask on. Oh, God. She's something died in her. Oh, mm. okay. What if she's eating zombies and oh, you don't even know it? I don't think she's. Oh, man. I don't think. Oh, God. I think she's killing zombies with her farts. All right. New. Sure. Sorry. Sorry. Carry, carry on there, buddy. I'm going to go something that's already dead. Sorry. Okay. Yes, carry on. So, this is like a big like hanger spaceship or this looks like Sweet. a spice uh what do you call it oh it does spice it looks like a thing. dune spice thing god it's getting yeah. through the mask why wasn't david in dune all of his friends were in it because i i i you, do you want to see me in a still suit indeed i think point made wow so what is this what is this ship for is this an atmosphere thing again too um, no, it uses a uh, hydrogen thrusters, so Ooh. it's both oh, it's atmospheres. So cool. It can go into space and be here. Sweet. Is that active um, now? Yeah, they're on. Wow, this is a cool looking game. I like this feel it, yeah. Noodles, you gotta get on this. Uh, does it cost much? Or it, I think it's like twenty dollars. 20 bucks? That's a lot more expensive than Genshin Impact. Yeah, that's free. Yeah, why don't you go upstairs, dog? Why don't you go and fart upstairs instead? What a great idea. Wouldn't that be that, fantastic? Uh, you know? Hey! How you doing? Wait. Okay. We're just looking at some... We're looking at some uh, at some space engineer stuff. And then we're going to look at accessible vans for Gimpy G. So, wait. Oh, you... And I've got a mask on because the dog farted. I don't know if I need to have this be specific. Uh, it's USA adult money. I don't know if that's. It's I, what? It's it's US it's US dollars. What's US dollars? Oh, that's more in Canada. Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. How much oh, the game is ah uh, US. So that's like a hundred dollars Canadian. Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's not. It's probably like around thirty bucks. But it it does add a lot. That's for sure. Yeah. So. Anyways, here is the <laughs> interior. As you can see, I added the proper ship for it. Very good. Remember this little puddle jumper? What? A little puddle jumper. Uh, it's like coming home. To, sorry to interrupt. I just, I have to go now. I have piano lessons. Noodles! <laughs> How long is your piano lesson? Uh, about half an hour. Okay. I have, I have a lot of homework. Oh man, you suck. Okay, all right, noodles. Well, look. Thank you very much. It was nice to. It's nice to hear from. It's nice to hear yeah. your dulcet, your dulcet tones for a little while. Thank you. Uh, I'll try to give you a little bit more of a heads up, but these days it's just been like I'm going live. 
everyone for Bye. themselves. See you, Noodles. Bye, noodles. Uh, that was a nice surprise. We don't normally see Noodles recently. Oh. I think school's being tougher on her. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start singing Magic, you know, Puff the Magic Dragon now. What are you lost in your own ship now? No, I'm just like showing this little like crow's nest. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But that's like your oh, little. Yeah, there's also guns. Of course there are. Where's How much... Where's Wolf Pup when you need him? Yeah. How much leeway do you have in building this? Or do, is it a, a blueprint and this is the way it's going to turn out no matter what? Um. Wait, what? Like how much? How much of it's customizable for you? Oh, in the game. For yeah. This, like this ship. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, you can make everything from scratch. You <sighs> kind of have to. Oh. Okay. I mean, you can That's save. Cool. You can save blueprints and then build them using a projector. But since I'm in creative, I can just kind of spawn in a vehicle. Oh, so you can spawn in a whole vehicle as well if you want to. I see. So it's very much like Minecraft on that. Oh, that's fun. I Only wanna... in creative, though. You can just spawn in like this. What is What happens when you're not in creative? Is it like combat or something? Um, or is it just like, what, what will kill you in, in, in um, non-creative mode? Uh, space pirates crashing oh. into buildings. And oh, that's where that happens. I see. Yeah. That's awesome. I have an airplane here. It's cool. That is very cool. That's got a very sort of... Uh, that looks like something. What was that inspired by? It just... I was just wanting to build an airplane. I didn't really have much inspiration for I what like, it would look like. I like that the guns are almost as big as the airplane itself. Ooh. That's like a wolf pup. That's like what wolf pup would build. A wolf pup. Hey, wait, wait a second. Wolf pups never missed one, and I think they're about to miss one. He said it's been, he's been to everyone for like I know. years or something like that. And so I decided to do one quickly so that he might not be able to do it. Just to screw up his... Well done. Wow. Also, yes. for some reason, I have given this the title of a water wasp. I don't know why. Ooh, I like it. No, no, that's good. Yeah, but basically, like, if you were battling people... Water wasp. It would go, it would go into the water mm -hmm. and, like, go under a ship... And then fire missiles nice. at the bottom of a ship. Nice. Or it would just like ambush by hopping out of the water and then firing. So like a su it's like a subplane. Yeah. I wonder if they That's have like, subplanes. I, I mean, I know they have missiles that will go up and then down and hit ships under the water line. I know that, but. Yeah. So well, like one still thing pretty is, stinky is in I here. actually have to be careful. Mm. Because this entire, if I'm going above a hundred meters a second, mm. when I first played this game, I was a bit annoyed mm. because they made me use uh, the other, uh, not imperial, whatever it is, metric, metric. What? What's wrong with metric? At first. Okay. All right. Getting You're getting used to it. to it. Metric is a lot easier. A lot easier. It makes more sense. Yeah. And it makes more sense. It's true. It is true. Also, my airplane broke, so I just have to kind of leave it down there. Did, now, I noticed, yeah, I was going to say, I noticed a plane on the bottom of the water there. Was that, was that one of your, on the, on, the, on the ocean bed? Was that one of your old ones? Um, yeah. That was when we were just flying, isn't it? Uh, I wish I could play Eve. I, yeah, I just, honestly, here's my problem. I don't have time to play games anymore. I find it so hard to take the time. There's always something I should be doing. Puddle Jumper, much better name for yeah. shuttles. Yeah, Ruby K, yeah. you are a bad Hewlett fan because I would say gate ship. Now let's actually continue with this. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry, so, yes, carry carrying on. On the top, there are missile launchers and stuff. As one needs, as one needs many missile launchers. Yes. I can show how deadly this vehicle is is by spawning in a vehicle. Gimpy, is that you snoring or your dog? Yeah, he says, could you roll, train? And then if that, I transfer it, the ownership to the we'll say space it's me. pirates. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh my god, did your ship just took it out that fast? Yeah. So oh, you smoke. so you declare the ship as a space pirate ship, and your vessel automatically takes it out. Yeah. This is a this is a cool game. 
It really is. I, I think I prefer it in, a, so in game mode so you got some resistance. This is a largely, I'm not exactly sure if this is correct, but I'm pretty sure it's a largely multiplayer game. Right, right. I like, can see that. A massively uh, multiplayer online, whatever it is, RPG or whatever they call it. And I have the amazing idea, if every bandit got this game and we all got into a world, we could all have different factions in battle. Ooh. What game is this? Uh, Space Engineers. Space Engineers. Apparently it's 20 bucks American, though. So Baz has got to work at the comic book shop a little longer. Wait a sec, does he? What's the Minimum wage here is like, what, 15 bucks or something, isn't it? That kid could buy this game just from working today. Wow. Man, I got to get a real job. This is crazy. All right. Now let's explore the interior. Let's, please. So, um, I forgot to replace that window. It broke. <laughs> so here, I haven't said... You might want to replace that before you go into, spe into space. Just saying. Yeah, because yeah. this is supposed to be airtight. Yeah, generally a bad idea to, you know, oh, window's um, out. That's fine. We'll fix it later. All right, so there are H2O generators here. Okay, uh, which you require in this game to keep yourself alive? Hmm? Do, is there, are they required to keep you alive, these things? Um, like, will you die if you don't have H, if you don't have water and air and stuff? Um, so you can survive without water or food because that isn't a thing in this game. Oh, it's but not, you okay. you worry about oxygen and your energy, which is basically the same thing as food, but it's energy for your player's suit. I see. It's like okay, so it's a still suit, bro. It is a still yeah. suit. It's so true. Yeah. But it's still suit is from Dune, by the way, just in case you're, you're at all interested in that. That's a, it's a, it's a boomer sci-fi, as my son would call it. Total. Bo boomer sci-fi. That's it. What? Whose voice was that? Mine. The hell, Lord Chunky? He's stalking. He makes a noise when someone joins. He's stalking us. Well, I don't know. There's noises all over the place. I can't keep track. There's noises everywhere, and I'm a boomer, you know? Like, I don't know these things. <gasps> okay. So Have you... this is the, like, crew area where everyone hangs out. Right. And stuff. You can write on this desk or something. That's where the alien leaps out of your body while you're having, you know, having dinner. Yeah. You can drink some nice clang cola or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. We're getting some weird feedback from you, Jefferson. Yeah, what is that? It's Jefferson. Yeah, but is this game worth $20? Oh, my. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, yeah? it just kind of depends on you. What kind of game is, I would, like? is it a Steam uh, purchase? Yeah, it's a Steam purchase. Oh, so you can get it and give it back if you don't like it. That's what I love about Steam. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like just it. have to uh, convince my foster mom to buy it for me. Mm. So... Well, can't you just do like a, can you do like a chore or something for her or do something? Oh, what an amazing idea! He's a genius. <laughs> That's not fair. No, because then I have to clean something you, you or know, do you know who some had work. That same idea? Another genius. <laughs> can't you like work on a website for her or? Here is the bathroom and shower. Oh, what's it? Do you actually? Do you have to use the bathroom and shower in this thing? Uh, no, it's just purely aesthetic. Wait a sec. What teenager ever builds a bathroom and a shower in a game? For aesthetic purposes. I see. Oh, wait, I get it. Oh, you Never should have throw carpet. I think, I think, on the right there. I think that Anthony's actually 30 years old. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Could sure. be. That's it. I guess. I guess. All right, where to next? All right, here are the beds and everything. Nice. Everyone can sleep. Over, it's a bit hazardous <laughs> getting into your bed. I was going to say, I don't want to wake up suddenly in like a storm and like, you'd like knock your, you'd be unconscious in seconds. The space yeah, pirates also. have got you if they get in. And also. your stairs are dangerous. Where the hell do these stairs go? Oh, um, have a nice walk on the suicide stairs. Yeah, yeah, see? Dead. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's go through my broken window. Design flaw, um, design flaw. Okay, yep. All right. So, basically, this vehicle, this big ship... Has a ship in it, right. You would use it 
you would land on a planet or go into the atmosphere of the planet, right? Fly out with all your men or whatever, and then start like attacking your enemies. That's Gimpy G's dog snoring, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I wish. Hmm, I crashed. <coughs> Some of these song logs. <coughs> is it really? Is it a person? It is a human person. That's a human snoring. We're jammed in one room, bro. You gotta, oh. you gotta roll that person over. I, my sister already did that, and it's just went right back. Really? Right back. All right, yeah. we should, we shouldn't be. I shouldn't embarrass him, but you know. Uh, he's fine. Right. Hey, he's, who's fluid FN? Wait, and then over here is our is the power generation or whatever. You know, a bunch of engines again, generators. Mm -hmm. Bunch of batteries on this wall. Yeah. Actually, in all the corners. Yeah. Over here is like a security room or something. You got full view of here. Nice. So you can see the space uh, pirates coming in and stealing everything. Open and close the hangers from here. Wait a sec. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear scary? Hmm? So I just mentioned Fluid FN that they were in the chat and then they disappeared. Um, it's any of the magic right. fans, kid. Who is it? Randy the Magic Man, this kid. Oh, well, well, they're welcome anyways. Anyone's welcome. I'm just, I was just oh, curious yeah. to know who it was. And hello, Ham. I'm pretty sure. Thank you very much for my new comic book. Yeah. What was it? What was it? Uh, it's Swamp Thing. Covers, so Swamp Thing. Only well, the B covers are beautiful. Yeah, well, it's always the foil blooms, right? I love, I oh, love. Now only six bucks because it took, it took it out of my paycheck. Six bucks? What a ripoff. I'm not paying for that. Of course I am, because I'm a perfect father. Um, all right, Anthony, how much more do we have on this thing? I want to look at uh, I want to look at uh, at real life uh, uh, spaceships for Gimpy G. Okay, all right. Where are so, we at? Yeah. So that's just a bed for the cap for the security officer. Okay. And then here there are two. You got to do some hiring. Doors. Yeah. Two heavy doors to keep the captain and. Kind of empty in Ooh, here. I like this. Is this the main operations place? Yes. That's kind of cool. This is oh, where the ship... Oh, we're taking off. All right. So this ship, when you fly around, you have to stay completely vertical or else you're just going to start falling because the thrusters are not strong enough to keep it up oh. when like that. Right. <laughs> Uh -oh. You gotta keep it as flat as possible. Right. It's not particularly uh, aerodynamic. It reminds me of the uh, the heli the heli whatever it's called. What's it called the helipad? The heli. Helicarrier. What is the helicarrier. That's the word. Helicarrier. Thank you. That is. It's a helicarrier. What are the four forces that act on a spaceship? Ooh. Because I know that there's gravity. Right. Lift, thrust, and then there's one more. Lift, thrust. What is the difference between lift and thrust? Oh, wait, lift I forgot like, the... Thrust would be what's pushing it forwards. Lift would be from, like, the aerofoil of the wings. Ah, okay. But there wouldn't be any aerofoil in space, though, right? No, so then yeah, once you get into the... Space, it's just it's thrust. Really just have thrust. thrust. Got it. So I forgot okay. to mention that this game is completely full world, open world. You can go anywhere with that ship? I can go into space, and then you see Mars over there? Or the red, red planet? Where I think we're getting... Where are we getting? We're getting some feedback from somewhere. <laughs> Jefferson, I think we're getting feedback. You're, you're, you're drowning out Gimpy God's um, snoring friend. <laughs> or family. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, hey! A moon! I am now currently at Mars. Are they easier to fly nice. once once they're in space? Um, actually, I can test that. I'd be curious because then you're only using thrust, as Jefferson was saying. What were the other forces? It was thrust, oh, lift, ah. gravity, lift, and then I don't know the fourth. Is one. it That's angular momentum or not? Hmm. Momentum, I'm maybe? I'm in angular momentum. Drag? What about drag? Not in space. Yeah, not in space. There's no drag at all in space? I think it's drag. Is the other one. 
Well, Ank is saying thrust, gravity, lift, and drag. But grav would be okay. drag would be like friction and stuff, right? It's drag. Uh, <laughs> is it just inertia? It is, did, it is drag. Right? Gimpy G, did this person yeah. fall asleep in your lap? <laughs> no, they are just really. They're good at this. They're, you, you're gonna need a bigger comfort in, my friend. Um, there's no drag in space. The ISS, however, does experience drag because it's not high enough. Yeah, you know, in some places, the space station is closer. Was it? I think it was um, uh, Candy Medusa who was saying that she got to a point in on the ship, or was it, or one of her friends got to the point on her on her um, her sailing ship that the closest people to them were actually on the space station. They were so far from land oh, in every direction. Cool. Isn't that neat? Because the space station's only, I can't remember what it is, but it's, 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 it, it's, it sounds ridiculously close. Did you say 20, Lord Chunky? Yeah, it's 20. I was going to say 20,000. <laughs> that seems way too far. 120? 300 kilometers? Yeah. All right. Oh, guys. Oh, yeah, what do you got now? Right. Currently. Good luck keeping us on track, by the way. Good job, Anthony. If I can find... The thing. I have a jump drive on this. Right. Are so you going nice. like faster than light? Move. Uh, I can do a blind jump. Ooh! Oh! Oh, that is cool. This is a neat game. Mhm. Mm this is like Minecraft on steroids. And now I'm a bit closer to Earth. You went back towards Earth? Yeah. So it's a tiny jump. Now, what kind of energy does that use? It's got to be huge. Wiki uh, says that the International Space Station is 418 to 422 kilometers away. That is not much. 408, okay. according to Google. Okay. Try so there in a few hours. Someone oh, explain okay. driving in space to uh, Lord Chunky. <laughs> So yeah, I could drive there because I'm such a bad driver. What do you got now? Sorry, Anthony. Really it doesn't show in creative how much power that used. Oh, because it doesn't care in creative. I'm pretty sure it uses up to like four full batteries or something. Is it a battery-powered ship or just the, the... Um, I mean, it uses batteries to power it all and it's hydrogen. Right. I see. Okay. Moved. Got it. Ha. Huh. This does seem cool. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I like this. And why would you like MPG? No, this is kind of neat. Again, I just worry about getting another game for me because I just go like, oh my God, there's another, like, wh wh I'm worried I'm never going to play it. RTG's I mean, power. This game is very technical. You might honestly just like it. Yeah, just from the, I mean, a, a few people have suggested this one and also. Probably Kerbal Space Program. That's yeah, Kerbal Space Space. was the other one that, yeah, Kerbal was the other one that people have mentioned as well. But, but I don't have green Martians, mm. so I don't know if that makes it fun better. Oh, right. Space, and Factorio, yeah. You get to you get stuck to everything. Ha! Huh. Like, that... do your screws have magnets or something? Oh, see, I can't watch this, because now, now I'm getting motion sickness, so I can't watch this now. It's going around. Yeah. It's it's, I, need a, I need a horizon. Oh. Hey, I just got to casually routes, repair continue. my jump drive. All right, you casually repair your jump drive. I want to have a look at some wheelchairs. Do you mind? A wheelchair yeah. vans. Um, all right, let me see if I can pull them up here. Is this going to do it? Yeah. Let me see if I can find some. I can't remember. I got a, a Twitter from a fellow who says he's number one in the USA. Number one? Washington State. And they build really? and will turn anything into... A wheelchair conversion, or almost anything. Ooh, that would be cool. Okay, so where are you looking, Gimpy G? Where, where can I? Where should I look? I, well, like I said, I just look up a wheelchair. wheelchair and new. If I could spell anything accessible. Oh, oh my God, Anthony just discovered paint job. What's that? Like he painted it red. His entire oh no spaceship. no. No, I no. so I built this a long time ago, mm -hmm. and I'm just doing a size comparison currently. Oh wow! It's way wow. bigger. So I built this with my with one of my f 
other friends. You look, it's like a giant basking shark. Yeah, um, so basically what I was planning for this is vehicles would be manufactured in here, like mm. small drones, mm. and it's flown out. Kind of similar concept to that. Can you have so drones do things for you in this game? Like, um, can you program them to do things? I think you can. I don't Because that would be cool. My friend built an airlock for me. So it nice. sucks out the air and pushes it in. So that you can wow. Enter. Um, wow. You got a refinery, all the same stuff, basically. Um, except I just realized this one has cryopods. Nice. Also, it has uh, artificial gravity. Huh. And what is that, like a unit that does that? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's this right here, a uh, gra gravity generator. Hmm. I got injured watching your stream. You got injured watching our stream? Yeah, Talk. Uh, lame tech bandit. Talk to Gimpy G's lawyer. Okay. Uh, how did you get injured? Trying to get 20 bucks out of your, out of your, your foster mom's wallet? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to sneak it, and then she came behind me and kicked me right in my knee. I'm, I'm joking. I am joking. Um, it's from because uh, uh, there's uh, our uh, dining table is like a uh, restaurant uh, seat thingy, and I banged my knee against the edge. And so then it started to bleed. You've got a banquette. Is that what you mean? Like a banquette? Is it all one bench of a chair? Is that what you mean? It, it's a booth. A booth. That's it. Yeah. I always love the booths. And you managed to, to cut yourself on the edge of the booth. Yes. Yeah. I definitely I see a lawsuit in the future for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go look at, let's look at Vans. We'll look at Vans. Anyways. I'm Thank you, Anthony. I'm going to collision. What? Well, don't let us miss that. What are you going to do ahead on? You're going to wreck the ship? Uh, yeah. Countdown to wrecks. Here we go. Going for the wreck. Four, okay. three, two, two, one. Oh! Hello? Oh, wow. Wolf Pup, did you see the explosion? Uh, yeah. Awesome. That's the destruction physics for you. Wow, that's pretty cool. What's going on with that motor there? So you made it, Wolf Pup. I was worried you were going to miss one. I probably wouldn't be able to make it because you're having. Because you're having what? Having the house showing today. Oh, that's right. You guys are getting ready to move. Like, He's moving to the East Coast. But we hey, I need a house. Yeah. Why don't you give it to Gimpy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why sell it when you could just give it to him? Give it to me. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not really anything cool. like a ramp going up into it there, Wolf Pup. Has the house? I can build a ramp. Has the house sold, Wolf Pup, or is it? Is it? Or are you just beginning to sell it now? Uh, no, we are doing showings, and uh, it's a good time to be selling. In a, I'm not gonna say when exactly, but like somewhere um, in a week. Yeah. We are taking offers. Wow. Okay. Have yeah, you had a lot of people? Write this down. Write this for your mom. One slightly soggy baby Yoda collection. <laughs> also, minor minor smoke. burn damage and smoke. It's got mesquite smell for your uh, mesquite. And, mesquite. And I think $9,000 plus the the you know, baby others just float that buyer when she's taking off her okay all right nine nine grand and a smoky yoda got it oh, uh, for, uh, nine grand american which no is, that's well there you go that's I'm the house me. that's the house paid for right there all right i pulled up the oh, images i pulled up images of vans because okay. i thought that would give us a i gotta say i've always liked these kind these these kind of high what are they like the Mercedes ones or the what? Are, I don't know what they call them. These like upright vans, sprinter like sprinter vans. Is that sprinter so vans? Be, like, yeah. Inconvenient to get a lot of places. You think so? Um, is it raised roof kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. It's raised roof. My... It's like twenty feet long. It's. Yeah, my me that was mine when I first got one and could had a job and stuff. Yeah. And got that that way. Dad could take me to the restroom wherever we went. Right. Public is a bad place for people like me. 
Right. So you've got you had a bathroom in the sprinter van. Correct. Nice. All right. Wow. So you get it all plumbed. You get it all plumbed in then. Hello. Who is that? Uh, it's, it's, I, I don't know who, but it's me. Um, <laughs> wait, or um, is the van? Does it just? Wait a second. Je Jefferson's got a question, Wolf Pup. We'll, we'll we'll get we'll get you in a sec. My foster mom wants to know uh, that pizza you owe her. Ooh, the pizza. What? Um, uh, w the question is, what is your favorite pizza place? What is your favorite pizza? I don't. I don't need them to. Uh, it's. She said Domino. <laughs> <laughs> you know we can hear her, right? <laughs> she said Domino's. Oh, and those uh, and the cinnamon things as well. <laughs> nice try, Jefferson. Side of funny garlic wings. And as, oh, I do like the garlic wings. I got to say, I'm a big Domino's fan myself, although... Uh, you can order me a pizza. You know where I live. I'll, I'll take one. Which one? Do you like... Um, have you had... I Hawaiian. I, have you had Descendants? Descendants? No. Descendants Pizza is really good. That was a local is place. Is like a chain? Or is it no, no. I think it's like a local place, but... All right, Wolf Pup, what were you asking about the, uh, about the, uh, the chairs? <laughs> would, the, would the van, if it has plumbing... How do you know it actually has plumbing? What if it just goes out onto the road? That would be fine. Still, I don't care. It's still, pl it's still plumbing. That would, that would you be have fine because I don't it. care. You have to empty it. I see. So it's got like a little septic, not a septic thing, but a yeah, but a, yeah, yeah. like a, a, a tank for all that stuff. Um, actually, uh, all right. So is that something you would want then? Nah. No. Nobody since dad's really been able to pick me up like that and all that. Like, because he'd still have to bend up. He was a beast, dude. Right. Like, get this. In uh, in his 20s, yeah. 475 pounds was his top bench. 475 wow. Wow. was his bench. He had 20-inch bicep. Dude was, I mean, wow. you see me on the TV thing, right? Yeah. He's like in his 60s, and he picks me up over the top of all the... Like I'm up on his chin hmm. as we're getting on the airplane, and Man. you can just do that. You could put me. I can't even all the way on the floor. I can't even pick Baz up. He just crushes me now. <laughs> all right, so give me a brand of car. Toyota. Hmm. You think Toyota? Hmm. You like Toyota? Okay. Toyota. Uh, man, wouldn't it be fun if they had like a Tesla one? That's fun. about that. You should try um, Lotus. 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 Yeah. Oh, can you They're remember? Known for their minivans. They're the, lo the Lotus. The Lotus Rivia? mini. Rivian. Oh, Rivian. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, Rivian. Let's have a look at that. It's the Amazon yeah. van. It's an Amazon van. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, no, no. That's a different one. Oh, dude, check this out. Let me go on. This is electric. No, Rivian should... also makes like their can... pickup truck type things. Well, yeah, this. Van, yeah, this is. They have an SUV one too, though. Right? Yeah, they have an SUV one. This I was just looking at this one because it's the it's, it's, it's just like it's such a cool looking, weird looking plastic future car. Um, but it's a Rivian, I oh, guess. Future car would be neat because like it's true. But with that, you'd probably have to take it to like a conversion place. Oh God! Well, I think a lot of these places you have Actually, to get them converted. Don't I don't you? know if you could do that because mm -hmm. you would need to go where the battery is, pretty much. Because the battery's right along the floor of the car, which means you couldn't change the well, floor of the car at all. Mm. There are tons of batteries in most of these vehicles. Like the one that burnt up on me, mm. that's probably why it burnt so long. Because it actually had like hydraulics in a way mm. that the it would it would kneel down on one side, and then a little lift, a little ramp would come out. Mm. And boy, it was on fire underneath for a real long time, even with like direct, like hosiery. Is it? Is it like a? Was it a hydraulics with air or oil or what was the? Hydraulics. I don't know. It didn't. It must have been oil. It didn't make any noises or anything. Huh. And I couldn't hop it or anything. It just went. Huh. Yelling. So it probably was. It was like either air or oil then, probably right. I mean, there's definitely, like, I don't know if you can see this, but there's the Rivian, 
The Rivian RT or the R1S is a kind of a cool looking electric truck. I don't know that it gives you enough headroom though. Uh, I don't know. We could, I think I'm 32 inches tall in my wheelchair. In the chair? Is that, okay, there's yeah. just, all right, so the chair would sit. There's a way to find out interior. Here we go. Let's have a look at the interior. Something you know, else. Chunky's smart as hell because they really? usually do drop the floor. Yeah. And that, they just do, I just don't think they could drop the floor in this. Because mm. you'd be into batteries. Back. Yeah. Although you'd have more room on the chassis for this stuff. Do so they, I think we the decided that I'm going to have to use the Humvee then, right? And Ooh. We'll just, you know, drop the floor on that. Well, the Hummer makes it, they make an electric Hummer as well, right? Yeah, but about the same yeah. battery pack. You have the same problem, though, right? No, that's an interesting point, though, because I guess a lot of the lifts are built into the. are going to be built into the floor, aren't they? Can we call him Lord Junkie Crusher of Dreams? Yeah, that's true. That's probably better. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That's okay. That's okay. Sure, just kick just kick him while he's down. Let's let's make jokes about fire now, shall we? Yeah. Um all right. That's Fourth my July. That's usually my job. Um all right. Okay, so maybe not the Rivian. I think that's a good point, Crusher of Dreams. Um okay, so do we want like an SUV we want like an SUV of some sort or do or are we think a van? I think van that may be the reason why they do vans, right? There are only two kinds of vans that even allow it. Mm. Uh, it's like Ford and Dodge, I think. Oh wait, really? The Toyota doesn't. Do and then Neat. Is, is All right, Toyota let's have a look. Nissan? There you go. Let's no. look. Toyota accessible van. How's that? Oh, those look like crap. That's not. Oh, what mine look like. That looks all right. This the Sienna looks Which pretty one? nice. Sienna, that's the one I was thinking. Yeah, the Sienna has you open the hatchback and there's a whole. You I'm just pretty sure they also offer a hybrid. Interesting. I don't want to sit in the back. It's a oh, side yeah. entry. This is kind of what mine looked like before fire. Pre fire, this one. Mm -hmm. So, and what did it look like after one. fire? And <laughs> after <laughs> fire. <laughs> yeah. Like, a, like, you can see it. It's on. It's, uh, if you go, if you go, what is it? Oh, it is a hybrid. Disabled Twitch Dreamer. There you go. Dude, there's a hybrid wheelchair accessible 2021 Toyota Sienna. Okay, how much? Mm, let's find out. 50 something thousand. Can you what the? Seriously? About that. It starts at 40. It says contact for pricing. In other words, let us get all of your information. Oh, if you want, like, with that. Oh, let's have oh, a look. No, that's not. No, four. Three. be cheaper to buy it like that or to contract some place to build it for you hmm. or even better be sponsored by toyota to, and they would just give it to you there you sponsored go that's what you toyota want to do make, like they make the van they don't make the they don't make the successful stuff this freedom motors usa there you go that's who, that's who's really doing it. freedom motors i'm guessing so there's a very happy young woman uh, driving up a ramp, she's not that young. Uh, driving up a, she's probably my age. Driving up a ramp into the back of the vehicle. It's actually kind of a neat setup, you know. Although I don't know how how practical it is compared. Like the side one sort of makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, you've got to have a whole space behind you, right? So we want a side entry vehicle. I would love to be able to like pop out Jesus. the passenger side. They are not cheap. The driver at some point. Dude, they're not cheap. No, they're stupid expensive. So pre-owned 2019 Toyota Sienna XLE. Uh, Canadian. A, this is this is American. Sixty four thousand six hundred. Yeah. You see what the car yeah. new is like fifty, probably for those. Right. And then the conversions are like Canadian. twenty grand. If you look, and then I, I didn't want to scare people when I put up my GoFundMe, so I, I put that up. Do you remember I sent you the picture of the track system in my ceiling? Yeah. Okay, they told I, I got a call from them. It it, it was paid for, for by the government. They, they they told me, oh, we've already given you one, so we don't know if we can give you another one. What? I was like, oh. I wasn't. Irritated. You had one and you ruined it, Gimpy G. So you don't deserve to be able to get a bath. I'm, I'm irresponsible. You irresponsible. Oh my God. Seriously? 
We're not sure. I guess this is the problem with little check marks on forms, isn't it? Have they already had one? Yes. Well, then why would they need another one? We hadn't thought that they might have burned the house down in the time being. And then uh, that is 23000 and all it went was from my bed over where my chair would be and then down the hallway into the restroom, which is probably 20 feet, 20 mm. feet. What did that go for? What does that cost? Yeah, that was 23000 So Wow. Is it just because I mean, it's just, got medical assistive written on it? I mean, is it like I feel... I feel like it is. I feel like it, it's sensitive. It, since you need it, they can charge whatever they want a lot. And then I think Medicaid and those places go, okay, we're not going to let you charge a bazillion dollars. We're going to, this is how they make up a number. I'm doing a virtual they, walkthrough of your new van, by the way. Right. Oh, really? Is it nice? It looks pretty cool, actually. I actually so really like insurance it. not cover the other one then? Is that why looking at? Uh, that's what we're looking at is like, there was so much internally to the house that we don't know what will how much we're going to cover mm. and then if they did decide to cover the car you could then say okay i would like this new one then that would be about the same value as the old one is that what they would do if they want to cover it um what they're doing as far as inside outs which i think is great and i specifically worded it was that we get uh replacement value so we don't have to de depreciate anything right it's whatever it was when i got it right i i can replace but unfortunately it. things may be more expensive now what about that correct man that's fine that's Basically. fine because they just say oh it's the same how do you get an equivalent then could you say oh mine was like a toyota sienna 19 2019 well i, I don't know we've got them well i, I they they Poo poo the idea of any money coming out for the van. For the so, van. So the the van is is a write off. What if you stole the van now and then claimed it was stolen? I think that's a good idea because it's not there right now. And I last time I saw it was last there. time you saw it, it was right there. Then there was a fire and someone stole it. Somebody re replaced, replaced it with, it with a burnt really dirty a burnt a burnt husk. <laughs> um damn. Man, it's too bad you didn't know that it wasn't covered for that because you could have got someone to steal it in the interim. Right. Uh, Lord Chunky would have been all over that. Could have moved it or... Insurance fraud? Know. Yeah, of course they'd be all over insurance fraud. <laughs> especially you know, especially when we're streaming it. The first insurance fraud on stream. There you go. Um, yeah, Dave, Dave 1149 is like, uh, insurance fraud. Uh, this, <laughs> this is what we teach on Tech Bandits. <laughs> this is it. How to how to commit how to commit insurance fraud. Um all right. Uh oh my god, things have happened. Things have happened. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a sec. Uh fluid FN thirty four three two four is followed. Thank you very much. J Boy followed. Uh Turtle Princess has resubscribed. What? Why would you come back, Turtle Princess? Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Not the Crowman's followed. YD Plays followed. Tweety Row, I can't keep track of her because I just feel like she's just throwing bits around all over the place. Um, all right. Yes, the Van Pack Mom is a complete and utter write-off. And what's worse about it is that it's a complete write-off that the insurance company is not covering. So so that's why we're looking at... Uh, Hey, Jakandar, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do my little thing. Hey, Gimpy, I figured it out. It's exclamation Gimpy. And then look at that. Nice. Up, up it comes. There you go. Uh -huh. See? Beautifully worded by, I don't even know who, the Ruby K or, or by, by Cal. I don't know who did it, but they did a great job. I mean, didn't I do a oh, great job? Awesome. Yes. Fantastic. Um, the van was insured, I'm guessing, for just for theft and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. What do they call that? Uh, liability? Liability? Liability and theft or something? Maybe not even theft. theft. Wow. Yeah, some somebody could have got a badass. Uh, it wasn't badass. It was like barely ass. Did you say that your house <laughs> ran worked. into your car and then charged you? Well, that's what I was saying. The house insurance. burned down and the house took the van with it and that should be covered hmm. by, you know, yeah, that that's it was what a, I was. Collision of fire with the car. Collision. I, they like cover it, collisions, exactly. don't they? Well, and if your and if your house caught fire and set someone else's house or something on fire, would the house insurance not cover that? Right. I think or you need a lawyer. They slipped and fell running from the fire. Would Did, my house insurance have to cover it? I guess Legal Eagle never never took the bait. 
Yeah, I don't know how to get a hold of these like fancy people. I, I just tweet them in the hopes that maybe one day they're watching Twitter. They go like, oh, it's there's a there's that guy, that guy from the 80s. He he hey, want could we yeah. get Momoa to do like a like a five second cameo for us. I wish he just does. And, and he says, hey, what they say. And then I could get a wig. I could get a wig and do what I can. I'll do what I can for. You know what? With, I like you know, it. Yeah. I, um, could do it. I actually, it I did him in a, I did, I did his, his impersonation in a, in Ooh. a, in a Stargate okay, thing. Good. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I can't, I find it very hard to get in touch with him because he's got, he's, it's like, there's no direct connection to, to him anymore. For, well, for yes, me anyways, yes. you know what I mean? He is um, a gypsy. He is. So. He's like the, he's, yeah, he's a band of gypsies. I know it's um, problematic, but, uh, A house with a garage, you could argue that the uh, car is content, says, uh, Ank. Well, it, Okay, which which is better? Because everything was pulled out of the garage. Yeah, that's what amazes me about this. The heat was so intense that they basically caught fire by proximity. Mm. It, it's amazing how I mean. But then I would say, I mean, again, I'm not an insurance company. But then I would say that that was the fire that caught your house fire, destroyed your van, and should thus be responsible right. for the van. Or how about just don't be a dick and go. You know, you paid in for like 40 years. Yeah. How about we take care of you and make a commercial out of it or something like that? Anks, Anks saying, um, saying get a decent lawyer. Do you have a lawyer now? Uh, my sister spoke to one. Okay. And that was more about crazy stuff about the home being mine, but then I, it's weird. What was that, Jefferson? Uh, did someone on tech ban? Because uh, my foster mom and stuff told me that someone on tech bandits, like, like uh, their house caught on fire. That's that's Gimpy G. Yeah, that's who we're talking to right yeah. now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because I heard. I heard you guys talking about uh, some house fire and that he was streaming while it happened. He was on Twitch when it happened. True story. Yeah. I see it all, buddy. Were you able to save your save your save, save your by thirty ninety? Huh? Jets. We saved my kitties. If you, that's what you mean. Save the cats. Save the pets. Save the family. But did not save the thirty ninety or the or the uh, PS uh, fifty, whatever it is. PS, what is it? PS? What is it? PS five. Yeah. PS five. Yeah. PS five. You should have like sacrificed the family. <laughs> we should have. I think maybe. That's Barnacles did say. Why would you save? Why why save Gimpy G when you could save the PlayStation five? Right. So next time, fireproof PC case. Ooh. Nice. Next time, Don't fireproof Gimpy G. And then he could just you could just send him in to get stuff with robotic arms. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, there's that's this right. there's this horror oh. game on where like like it's like uh Poppy Hug or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, Poppy Playtime. Yeah, Poppy Playtime. Yeah. Um, and so if he had the arms that are used in there, gotten. Really? Let's yeah. look him up. Let's look him. I'm looking him up, Gippy G. I'm looking up your new arms. Uh, what's it called? Poppy. Poppy Playtime is a horror game, so you might find a creepy creature. Ooh, creepy creatures. Okay, even better. Yeah, it's, even it's, better. It's like a. Ugh. It's, it's like, like a, a FNAF type version. The it's weird like a, saw that. You know, duck. Game Actually, thing. it's not Five Nights at Freddy's. It's. No, no, no. I said it's, it's a like FNAF type. Fusion. I said a, I said a FNAF type. So it's like, like a, it's um, like one. I see. It's a it's a a kitty like horror type thing. Well, wait a second. What's the creature that has the arms? The robot arms. Uh, you you your character has the robot arms. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, the grab pack. Search you know, grab game pack. Does he even tell you what your character's time. name is? What do you say, grab pack? Grab pack. Sure, it will eventually because it seems like it's trying grab. to grab. Pack? Grab a pack? Yeah. I still can't see them. They're kind of long arms, though. They look like long arms, Gippy G. I guess it'll work, but I just want 
full robotics asbestos insulation because I don't care about breathing and stuff for people anymore. I've become hard, David. Oh, there you go. There's the grab pack. This insulation. Oh, you know what? What's funny about this? The grab pack actually looks very much like I know guys who make robot. Wait a second. I know guys who make robots that look like that. They look mod. Like the they look like Modbot. That get, they look like the things that you put on rings in your fingers and you like chuck them at walls. Check this out, Gippy G. They're like the sticky hands. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, sticky hands, like whatever they are. They look like those. They basically mm. just function as those. But they conduct electricity, which probably isn't very good. You get a lot of electric shocks. Yeah. Um, Gimpy G, they look like these guys, Modbot. Modbot makes this modular robotic system. And they are okay. some really cool looking systems here. I've spoken to these guys. They're a couple of Australians or New Zealanders. I, I'm, I apologize for getting them mixed up. Um, really they all look alike. <laughs> interesting, interesting guys. Um, and they've got this, they're creating, basically their idea is they want to make, it looks like, it just looks like plumbing right now, but, um, basically they want to make a system where you can go onto their website, build something in 3d that you want, and then press buy. And they send you all the parts and you just link them all together. Okay. That's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool. The other one that's, that's very cool. Do we have it? Do I have it up? Have I forgotten to share it? I usually forget to share it. I did. Okay. Let me close this. Let me close the Discord goodness. And let me instead open up Chrome. There you go. So this is Modbot here. Let me show you. Back. I'll go back and show that stuff off to you. So these guys have some really neat stuff. Looks like really high-end plumbing. Doesn't it? It looks like high-end plumbing. Like <laughs> smart plumbing. But the idea that you could build them and mount them somewhere would just be really so cool. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how heavy they are or how much power. For it, but like, Wait a minute. That does look like plumbing. Doesn't it? Yeah. But each one of those is its own little motor, right? System. Oh. So each section of that can oh. rotate and turn. And so, so you basically build any kind of arm. Like it can basically go wherever you want. Um, and then the other one that I'm going to show you here is Haddington. These are the guys who are friends of, um, is it Haddington Robotics? I think it's, wow. I think it's Haddington Robotics. Oh, if I, I'd Dynamics. figure out what I would do if I had one of those arms. What's that? I would use it to sort like big bags of peanut M&Ms. <laughs> into different bowls so just all the colors were in each bowl so you like, don't need the big arm for that you could use you could use easy robot for that no but i want it to do it really fast you could just use i want my m and m separated big. at maximum speed he's well, this is that would be like lord chunky is practicing okay, to be a rock star red is the best m m flavor they all taste the same yeah but red just feels like it tastes different really no, okay yeah in but my opinion your opinion is invalid. Okay. Your, your opinion is invalid. invalid. It would look so cool. Imagine you were hungry and then you just press the button and it just started sorting your MMs into different. Great. All the so of build it. Amazing. So the Gimpy G's got a, at least he's got an MM sorter. But why would I just take an MM? Only eat the red <laughs> MMs if you already sorted them. Hey, Gimpy. Because they all taste yeah. the same. How, with, how is your. When you eat, are there any limitations to what you can eat? Like, do you have any issues with, like, chewing and stuff? I, I do, and swallowing. And swallowing, right. Yeah, it, it, like, if I'm laying down at all, I can't swallow it just, anything, including water. It just gets stuck in your yeah. throat, or, or... Yeah. So like, you, are the muscles and, in your throat, the muscles in your throat don't, don't, aren't, aren't functioning properly, or... or... Correct. I see. Correct. So what, and so when you eat, you've got to be too. sitting up. I gotta be sitting up, mm. and like when everybody else has steak, I have to have filet mignon. <sighs> so they do the slices. Yeah, they slice it up for you. Real, real tiny or whatever. But that would be a I good robot to have. Yet. A robot that could then reduce your food to smaller pieces. Maybe just chew it for me, and, and then blah, feed blah, blah. it. Oh God, you'd like a bird, It'd be like a bird robot that throws up in your mouth, like a oh, like a, a blender. A oh, it's called a blender. Good point, Lord Chunky. Hey, I've invented a blender. Yeah, I've, I've invented this amazing robot called a blender. 
fascinating. You know, one of my okay. one of my favorite stories where my wife laughed at me was I was like, "How do we make movies simpler?" I said, "Like we've got to make we got to bring the the price of making movies down. We've got to make them cheaper." And then I was thinking, and I was writing, and I was thinking, and I was like, oh, "I've got it." What if we write down what we want the movies to look like? We could call them paper movies. And Jane's like, it's called a book, you idiot. (laughs) But I was so convinced. I was like, paper movies. No. I love it. Yeah. It could have been dumb idea. And you could have said like papyrus or stone. Yeah. At least I said paper. At least I was with it enough to say paper. Um, Yeah. All right. Um, and Gippy, how are you talking to us right now? I, isn't it great? That's beautiful. Yeah. So that is 3D printable. They have a 3D printable version. It, um, the software is very smart because it takes, it makes it incredibly accurate, not with by buying incredibly expensive parts, but by having software that figures out where it is and stops it from moving the wrong way. So basically, okay. it's, it's just kind of a smarter arm and we we know these guys they're they're a couple of really fun nerds and they're based in vegas i think um which always sounds dodgy doesn't it um but uh i've been bugging them for ages to like because I, I i wanted i would love to use these in assistive tech and also in um in filming like i would love to do this documentary we've been working on this upgrade required thing that we want to get going i thought it'd be really fun to to both use the technology for people or with people, you know, like like you, Gimpy, come up with ideas of how how you you could you could make this work for you, um, and um, or with you, I guess is a better way of putting it. Um, yeah, and then right. also have the arms film it, like film the documentary about what well, how we're using the arms. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. Have, as well. like, that'd be so cool. The they do have robot, but you know what? Like medical devices, as soon as you put like you know. Film, movie, or film, they get incredibly expensive. Crazy expensive. Mm-hmm. Crazy. But also, those things would—they're much larger than this thing, kind of. Yes, they are bigger. There, and one of the reasons why they're so large is that they don't want any movement. But what I'm saying is, yeah. they're still thinking hardware, and software solves all the movement issues. Right? You could have a—you could put on a piece of string and flick the thing around. The your you, if if you've got a big enough image, you could take all the shake out of it. Right. So I think they're still trying to solve it using, using you know gravity and stuff. And I'm saying screw gravity. Just use just use software to figure out how to make things. Like, there's a beautiful camera. I'll bring it up here, which I think Gimpy, you'll get a kick out of this one. This is the it's the DG DJI DJI something. What is it what called? Is it, is it like a little gimbal camera thing? It's not little. It's this new thing that okay, they've got. They make like. Consumer yeah. drones, big drones. I can't remember what it's called. Like they do, yes, they do. But wait till you see. There's some stuff. It ah, your, this is it. 4D. The Ronin 4D. Oh, baby. Nice. Gimpy, I'm bringing it up now. Ronin 4D. This thing. I never have any use for that ever. Neither would I. I would just look at it and go, wow, look what I've got. Mm-hmm. So this what thing, the thing that really blew me away about it is that that is, that's not it. That's if a, you go to the scroll up. I'm scrolling up. Oh, professional. Ah. Then you go professional. Yeah. Ground-based cinematography. So this thing, Gimpy, it it's like a it's like holding a chicken. <laughs> I know this sounds that sounds weird, okay. but when you move a chicken around, its head will stabilize. Right? Okay, okay. So this does the same thing. It basically the camera is like at the as is like the chicken's head and it moves around. So you can move the body of the camera around. And the head will never move. That's, I'll, I'll show you What's the show. What's it look like when you guys walk and run? Well, this I'll, I think this should show you. Here we go. Let's watch this. Let's watch this together, shall we? <gasps> look, it's a band. Look, it's people standing there. Someone's driving. These are, I'm assuming, all being shot. David, you're spoiling it for me because it has delay. I'm here. You're spoiling the video. I'm spoiling it? Yeah. Do you want? I don't have to have the music. Let's go without the music. There you go. Look at this. How's that? No music. Oh, that's not. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, Where's so the... you're saying nobody's touching these cameras? Well, wait, I'm not no sure camera. right now. Oh no, no, humans are touching no, them, them, but they're doing all the stabilization. I don't know if this is the right one to be honest. Where? Let me just have a look and see. Yes. Ooh, the drones need. Well, no, that was that's the whole thing. Is like you're basically holding a drone. 
right? Oh. So instead of a drone chasing you, you could drive along in a car or run down the street and have these have it this stable. Like, look, this is a guy falling on the street. There's rock stars moving. Let's see what else they got here. I wish they'd show you the camera. But this is the kind of stuff which is just... Now, I would argue you can do a lot of this on an iPhone. But, um, but you know, this is also like... I think it's like something crazy like 8K or something crazy. There you go. So it's all shot on a 4D. It is. Let's see what it is. It is... What is the deal on it? Learn more. I want to learn more. I always want to learn more. Specs. Here we go. Specs. Dun, dun, dun. Do, da, da. Does it say somewhere? Does anyone see? 35 millimeter full CMOS sensor. I don't know what that means. It means it's big. Um, 8K. Yeah, it can shoot 8K. Amazing. Yeah, so, sorry, that's not, I've got a little bit off topic, but the idea is that, that like, this technology is there. Um, you know, like, if you can create something that does this, you can create something that, that slices Gimpy's food and, you know, that Gimpy has full control over, right? I mean, it just, unfortunately, I think that there's more of a demand for these 8K cameras than there are for, for a Gimpy G steak slicer. Right. You know those right. things from Big Hero 6? Yeah. What are they? It's like little nanobot things that you just like have like put on your head. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be epic. Hero Why six. don't we just make those? Sorry, big yeah, hero six nano those. what? Nanobots. Oh, the nanobots. Well, like, why don't you just manufacture them in mass production? And then exactly. sell them for like That's 10 million That's a very good point. Well, nanobots. Yeah, I mean, nanobots. They don't seem too hard to make. <laughs> uh -huh, totally. Because it would totally work. Why don't yeah. you just make like did. a brainwave sensor that it like scans exactly. your brainwave? Brain like I was thinking about this during science class because I'm really bored. But, but nanobots why? aren't just, like, impossible. Create like like brainwave sensors so that it just does whatever your brain wants. Just make a brainwave sensor. But it's so the idea. Why hasn't everyone like ever thought of just yeah. making a brainwave See? sensor? Chips is agreeing with me. Like what they do with the monkeys. Oh! Musk did a test where like he may have that was Elon Musk. Pong with your brains. Yeah, yeah, that was that was neuro... Why don't we just use mm -hmm. Elon Musk? Why don't we just steal Elon Musk's ideas? Well, right? because now he'd it's have he'd have, have your confession. Yeah, steal Chips' ideas. Ooh. And you, then turn them into nanobots. You know, you've heard of, I'm assuming you've heard of Neuralink, right, Gimpy G? Yes. Um, yes. One second, I just, I, I, I got to pull this into a full circle. Yeah, go. My first act as a robotic person, yeah. devious lick. Boom. <laughs> oh, lick. no. Devious, lick. it's so passe, man. The devious licks are done, man. Yeah, they're, they're they done. Like, they're yeah, yeah Gimpy G. Chivalrous God. yields. Now you're chivalrous yeah. yields. That's and right. Travis Scott's yields. apology videos. That's no, Travis Scott's apology video. That's what that. was with that. Oh, have you heard about this? Um, too many people at concert. People stop getting inside. Everyone's making fun of him. Everyone's making fun of him. Travis makes like, apology like, Scott uh, apology just, video, like him, and he like touches his face a lot. It looks really funny. All, All right. right. It's like he's trying to make himself <laughs> cry. Yeah. Oh really? Just about like um. Let's have a look. My mom missed the bus. Here we go. I'm looking at it now. And it's in black and white. It's oh, I got it's ads. Yeah. Like my mom, I no, and, and it's in black and white as well. <laughs> okay, this is it. I have to agree, though. It did look really fake. It's totally fake. The amount of money he probably made from that concert, though. If he's just canceled, he's set for life. Not even gonna lie. Astro World. He's always do us a refund of tickets. Yeah, true. But is it possible that that's his yeah. form? Maybe when he's when he's when he's in grief, or maybe when he's stressed out, maybe that's what he does. I mean, people touch their face when they're funny. It's still funny. Hey, we're still gonna make fun of people who did bad things. <laughs> he actually looks really stoned. I think it's just the camera angle. <laughs> he may, you know what? He's probably really tired too. Yeah, there you go. Yes, let's give him a man yeah, who didn't stop a concert while people were dying excuses. Apparently, it's told everybody who got harmed by the concert to personally email him. Is that what he's saying? He gets like like thousands, like fifty thousand emails. Yeah, he's gonna get at least like. Two times. So eight. just in case anybody oh, right? doesn't know what's going on here, I don't know how we got onto this, but so Travis Scott uh, had a concert 
And Astro World. And then some. Uh, uh, there were a number of people who were crushed during the concert and died, and were yeah. were escorted yeah. out. They were trampled yeah. and they were suffocated. Well, trampled or suffocated. Uh, mm. Are the two ways, yeah. And but apparently, Travis ways. Scott saw it happen, or people think that he may have witnessed it and then just ignored it. it. No, he he told security people and stuff that that people were like basically like. Passing out and stuff. Oh, but he told them. People are told them, but he didn't say anything. Like he just one, died. sorry, one at a time. Told them. Is that not doing something? I feel like he just continues saying to stop a riot. Oh, really? Because people can get. But don't you think someone with that power could stop the concert and say, "Everybody, I need you to all step back like a foot." Or huge influx of other videos of other singers stopping concerts after like one, like in like. Oh really? Significantly smaller thing happens. Well, no, stepping back one foot wouldn't do anything because, like, it's just no. Well, or just make space for this person or something, though. Couldn't you have done? The question is, could he have done something? Security was getting them. Could he have done something? No, he can't. No, no. What we are saying is that he didn't okay he might have done something but he definitely didn't do enough mm. i can tell you that a couple of those people that died there could have been saved if the people if the er that went to the concert could have got to them. could have got to them because everyone was he's singing like sicko mode or something and everyone was like jumping up and down while these poor er people couldn't make it through the crowd so, um, so you think people are standing on the ambulances that need to get out of the car? Yeah, Tra people couldn't. Travis Scott could have done so much. He called but it, but people charged the stage. Apparently, someone said. Isn't it crazy how people went to the Travis Scott concert and then when when like they fall asleep at a Travis Scott concert and they wake up at a Juice World? Out of what? Out of what? Peace World concert. It, it's a joke because they died. Oh. Yes. We're already but, making jokes about the dead oh people. I don't care. Also, I feel like I, I feel like Travis a... Scott could have done more to help. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Stuff. It's. Yes, it's Travis Scott. I don't understand like, why they wouldn't so have good. more. I mean, I don't understand why a why a concert wouldn't be better. Better like Barrier. organized and barriers. Oh, snuck in and um, oh, it's no. yeah. It was not big event. Sorry, what was that, Jeff Jefferson? I have to go. Um, oh, we, I, I have to uh, discuss some some Taco Bell matters. <laughs> All right, well, you go, Jefferson. It was good to hear from you. Um, Look in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, Taco Bell in the bathroom. I do not want to hear that discussion. Um, interesting. Okay, so that was, and that's sort of top of mind for you guys right now. I hear that. I guess that was a that was a it's news. That's like a big meme. Ah, wow. It's like it is like full circle. It's like memes. Yeah. We were just talking about meme, meme crypto, right? Crypto? Like Dogecoin. And we've come back. Like oh. if you created like no, a. I don't like the meme crypto. It's just no, but people are making money on it though. It, like some, of the thing, some of them are fine. Yeah, like Doge. Uh huh. Okay, there's a few that are fine. Do you like? But seriously, do Other you like? Other ones yeah. are scams. They have no liquidity. Oh, there's a lot of scams. Some, it goes up a thousand percent. Yeah. And then, oh wait, I can't sell. Actually, it. cryptocurrency is technically a scam because it could crash at any moment and it's not stable. Well, that's. It's I mean, tragic, but, although wait a uh, second, but aren't some of the but some of the coins like the USD are aren't they linked to the US dollar? Okay. USD, yeah. Some of them are linked to the US dollar. Us? Don't you mean us? Is it us? Is that what they're called? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, damn it! I thought USD. I thought I had it down. Squid coin. There was a squid coin. Oh yeah, squid coin. That's more. <laughs> wow, I guess Baz really liked the squid coin. No, I just think. Oh God. I mean, ugh. <laughs> what it was someone basically like jumping on the popularity of so i guess you have a stranger things coin <laughs> mm -hmm. although if you heard about this like what is it no, the new release popular, it's good halo coin the release of the new like... halo coin but if you did if you tied halo coin to the sales of halo that would make sense wouldn't it that would have value 
Okay, one thing I don't like on TikTok is I see these things where it's like, okay, this coin, you can buy like a million, a, like a million of this coin for like one dollar or something like that. Right. If this coin hit even one cent, we would all have hundreds of thousands of dollars. But yeah. Like million like cents isn't hundreds of thousands. Quadrillions. Of I'm not doing exact math. <laughs> no, 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 okay. No, I'm, I'm He's doing not. Hewlett if math. Millions and each one costs a dollar and you buy a bunch of them, then maybe you have hundreds of thousands if one right. for one cent. Right. Okay. Anyways. So, but that is... That is a thing. isn't that like a pyramid scheme? Go up to, not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme is you do this, you get to other people, and it branches out. Mm. But like the thing with this is, like people think, oh, it only needs to get to one cent. Mm. But like the thing is, you have to look at like the market cap of things. Mm. If that coin were to go to one cent, the coin would be worth trillions of dollars. It'd have a higher market cap than Bitcoin or anything else, the largest mm. coin. So you, people just, I don't know. It's just. It's so obvious that some people are like, you know, scamming. You have like infinite money if you make your own coin and then like publicize Who it. it? Who would buy no, it? No, no, hear me out. You make your own coin, you publicize it. Like, hear me out. Leon Musk or something, right? Yeah. And uh -huh. he makes a coin, right? I wouldn't be surprised if he, buys if he does. The coin, yeah. And then the coin goes up in price. And then people want the coin because the coin's going to go up in price. It yeah. goes up in price even more. And then Elon Musk, before it goes up price, he has like a crap ton of his own coin and yeah. he sells it all then he gets more, more that's money a, he, that's a big thing it's, it's like a classic and pump and dump yeah so you 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 get dump. you yeah. get your stock it's worth nothing you make up crap about it that makes it sound like it's worth a lot more people get excited they buy in you dump all of your stock while the money's so high you own something ridiculous like 40 percent. but and all i would say is a huge scam at least we like get to do this now but at least we get to do this now instead of you just big companies people? but instead of I'm saying token. we are. We've got one yeah. on the way. Yeah. We've got one on the way. Dude. Lord Chunky, did I tell you about this? Oh, can I get like some minted in Taiwan right now? So I have a I, can, I have like 15%. I have actual coins, like physical coins that are going to be sent to us that have like the Tech Bandit logo on it and they have a space on it where I'm going to get we've got to etch some kind of an NFT code on it. So that we can have, so that each one of these coins has a digital version online. And the idea is it's purely, well, then we can do that. Um, but because the, the reality is that when you've got these coins, you can sell the coins for whatever it's worth. The idea is to raise some money for tech bandits. And also, I think it's just a fun experiment to see what happens with NFTs. Because who knows, if it works out, you've got your college fund paid for because you own a freaking tech bandit crypto coin, right? I want to show what I raise money for. Look at this. What's that? If I were to get a new computer, this is what it would be. What would it I'm be? It's the PC chat. What is it? Look at what, it. What is um, it? What is it? Look at it. The PC chat. Where do I go? Where do I go to? The graphics card right now. Where do I go to PC chat? It's PC. On PC and then it says PC right. chat. System builder. Oh my God! Here he goes. He's done his PC system building. Wait, hang on a second. Copy. Oh my God! I haven't oh. been here for so long. I have not been here for so long. Okay, there you go. So this... I just put in like what the price of a graphics card would be if I could actually buy one. How much? Eleven hundred for thirty eighty in Canadian. Oh, you just yeah, thirty thirty eighty Ti or just thirty eighty? Thirty eighty. And you're going with the Intel i five? What about isn't there like a new one I'm coming five, out? Twelve six hundred. That's what the this is the new one. Twelve six hundred K. Is the twelve hundred K? Twelve. Yeah. Is it twelve six? Sorry, sorry. Twelve six. Jesus, twelve six hundred k. What the hell? That's the new one. Now, is that going to eat AMD's lunch? It nah. it does right now, but the AMD's coming out with new stuff in January. Well, let them keep fighting because the longer they fight, the more their prices will mm -hmm. stay down, and I'll be able to buy exactly. something. I bet you AMD's going to lower their prices soon, like cut like fifty dollars off all their prices to make their mm. stuff more competitive with this. Doesn't help much, given that no one can get them anyways. They people can get CPUs. Can they? Yeah, CPUs. Just not everything. GPUs, but graphics cards, but... pretty much. GPUs, the only ones right now, and of course you can't. I see the eleven hundred. The eleven now eleven hundred is 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 that the MSRP for the uh, for the video card now? The manu um, yeah, the so manufacturer so. suggested retail price. Um, so Gimpy, what did you pay for yours? Cheaper, that would be more expensive. Fourteen hundred. Is that it? Thirty ninety in US. Oh, US, right, right. And so yeah, would, you'll get given that money back. You will get given. Whatever it costs to get an RTX 3090, you will get that back now. I Is, hope so. That's the, yeah, I, that's the intent. Right. I, I do have a guy named Christopher 
Yi. Mm. He's a big YouTuber. Yeah. That, that might be a thing. What, that he... It might be a video Wait, made of, wow. him a of him making a computer for you? Christopher Yi? Possible. Yes. Let's, well, let's find him right now. I'm looking him up right now so we can give him some love. He is a very big streamer. I watch Christopher Yi actively. Actively. He's actively what? Is he Canadian? He's kind of like Markiplier, but skinnier. Is he Canadian? I think. I don't think maybe. he's as big as Markiplier, but he no. is a very. What is that? Christopher I, Yi. He's very. Have I got the right guy? With a K. With a K. It's like Christopher with a K. Yeah, Christopher with a K. And Y E E. He does PC yeah. tech, budget building, and gaming. Okay. Where's he based? Uh, he's Twitch. He's oh. in the house with a bunch of the other streamers I watch. No. Why do they all want to live in the same house? I don't know how they do that. All right, so Christopher Yee would love, Actually, love going out to Christopher Yee because he's building a, a gaming PC, hopefully, for uh, Kim Yeah, PG. Chris. I know Chris. Theoretically, yes. That's awesome. Will you be on with him while he does it? That's my hope. I yeah. I'd be able to give some you know, feedback. No, and, don't put that there. That's stupid. What are you, an idiot? That kind of stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. He's married you know, to one of my favorite streamers. Who's he married to? Oh. I think he's married, or they're engaged. Foosley. Well, he contacted me, like, right away after it went. But while it was still live stream fails, rather than, like, really? regular media. Oh, good yep. for him. Oh, that's great. Um, And then how do we get you? we got to get your streaming empire back up again anyways. We were talking about yes. maybe streaming from my computer and then having you on as a guest. But could you, you could also stream from your iPad, couldn't you? Like, for half this time, I have actually not been here because the internet here blows. Oh. Like, it, it just kicks you off. And then you have to go Maybe sign back in wrong. with uh, welcome. Hmm. I don't know why. Hmm. But, is, there, is there a business center I, there? Oh, I think they're the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I have, I can definitely confirm that we are not talking about the same person. Perfect. Um, that no, is. No, I. Sorry. So is this Go is ahead. is this a no? That's okay, Buzz. That's that's it's understandable. I know Christopher Yee, and he's friends with Foosley. Ah. Of Edison Park Live. Ah. Mm -hmm. Actually, Gimpy, you should just and get like him. Bigger to, than Christopher Yee. You should get everyone to build uh, computers yes, for you. He is bigger than Christopher Yee. I just built a computer for you because right I got a graphics card for it. But Christopher Yee, they're big in different things. What about li build a computer for Linux? Basement. Linux Tech. Linux. What's his name? Linux Tech. Linux Tech. Linux okay. really bad. Yeah, me too. Well, you're Canadian, David. That's he what I'm saying. But he's in Vancouver. He's too young. No, 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 no. He's like, old. He's like 35. Or exactly. Something. I'm like 105. Yes, but there's reruns. There's that reruns. That was 21 from the Ukraine was all giddy because she was talking to David Hewlett. I was, I was amazed the whole time. She, she, well, I've met her before though, to be fair. Like that was, I mean, I know, but she was just, she so was excited stunned. to have someone on the, on the podcast, I think. But she, but uh, I, I just, again, I, the biohacking stuff, I just find fascinating. And I'd love to get those, those bacteria uh, working. Um, I might have to get a couple of, of, uh, of tech bandits to help me out with that because, uh, there's a, there's a bunch of prep and stuff that needs to be done. If anyone's got any interest in, you know, being an evil scientist and doing some biohacking, they should let me know. Stuff. Are you are you into biohacking? Would I you be into that? Do yeah? I do it. Lord, we I could, don't know much about it. Actually, Lord Chunky, what we could Does do is we could... Dreams? Oh, he'll crush them later. I have the potential to crush dreams. I think so. I could crush so many dreams. If they escape, <laughs> they could crush a lot of dreams. You know what we... Oh, there you go. this is it, Chunky. This is what we do. Uh -huh. We... We whip up a little bit of our glow in the dark bacteria, and then we Sorry, smear it all over your dad's motorcycle in the garage. And then no. when he comes back to look at it, it's glowing in the dark. No. And it, it looks like Ghost Rider. No, that's an expensive paint job. It's like it wouldn't damage. It wouldn't damage the paint. Oh, uh, would it? Wipe would it? Off? It's bacteria. You just wipe it off. Oh, okay, that'd be good. Then. Don't you think? Well, right, well, I have to go now. You maybe we'll that more. maybe we'll test it on something before we test it on your dad's uh -huh, Triumph. That's probably a good idea. He's got a Triumph motorcycle, by the I'll way. Test everyone. it on Bass's computer. Oh, those are cool. That's yeah. Idea. Um. All right. So that's sorry. Thirty eighty Ti. I'll test it on your computer. My yeah. computer. If you buy me a new computer, sure. I gotta go. No. If all right. You buy me all right. Gimpy G's gotta go. Everyone's gotta go. Why don't we wrap up? Why don't we just oh, yeah. buy me 
Buy me oh my, my god. computer back and then you Quickly can before the, before the before All right, I gotta go. All right, bye Lord Let's Chunky. Nice computer. Bye. bye. Um all right. Oh, middle son is a triumph. He wouldn't appreciate glowing bacteria on it. Yeah, probably not pack bomb. I'm actually getting quite hungry today, man. What? We can't don't get don't I'm eat. Starving. We're going for dinner in like 20 minutes, aren't we? What? Oh my god, we're going for dinner in 20 minutes. Holy crap. Okay. Bye everyone. Oh jeez. Gimpy G, thank you so much. Thank you. And, and right, Linus. Everybody, uh... Uh, everyone bug Linus. That's true. Good point. Um, and then let's get the Gimpy back in there. Gimpy. That should give you a link again. Please, please, please. If you got a couple of bucks sitting around, Gimpy G could definitely use it. He's got a lot thank to uh, replace. Um, and um, yeah. And uh, obviously make sure you go and follow him on, uh, on Twitch as well because... Uh, that would also help so that when you get back to streaming, you have a massive audience ready to go, right? That would be awesome. Massive audience of four people from us. That's it, yeah. Nice. Um, all right, goodbye everyone. I will say, oh, now the dog's licking my arm too. All right, be safe, be kind, be brilliant. Until we geek again, I will say cheerio and huzzah! And there is huzzah right there. All right, good night, bye everyone.